Well, we're back, but I'm not getting game audio, so that's stupid. Why is that? Is desktop audio down? What the hell is happening here? Give me a second, folks. Hold on. Is that gonna work now? No, it's not. Well, this is a little bit awkward. My apologies, folks. Let me fix this real quick. Duke Nukem 2 mods, yeah. What's up? How you doing, Baxter? Audio input capture, let's turn that off, and let's turn game back on, and... Yeti stereo mic? Are we... nope, that is not right. This is a little bit awkward, sorry about that. Huh. I think it's really weird that I can't... No, I figured out the problem, I'm sorry. Fuck. Sound settings. Input device. Output device. Speakers. Yeah, I know. Yeti stereo microphone. For the life of me, I can't figure out why this isn't working. Desktop audio. What is happening here? Speakers, Yeti stereo microphone. Not fucking happening. Well, this is kind of frustrating right now. I would have I would have thought for certain that this would work just fine, but it's not. You're doing good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm sorry that I'm having technical difficulties at the moment. This is What the fuck? Yeah, see there that goes. Realtek High Definition Audio? Is that going to work? It's going to work on that. Hey, Maslin, what's up? This is, uh... This is a peculiar problem here. Because that did just pick up. If I unhook from that, you can hear me, yes? Yes, we can. Now I can hear this. Will the game work? Will the game audio work? Let's see. By the way, Maslin, um, Holly said thank you for wishing her a happy birthday the other day. Well, by the other day, I mean yesterday. Okay, it's working. What's up, Andy? Okay, got the audio working. Uh, Andy and I were playing some Unreal Tournament earlier today, and... I, uh, I didn't set my audio stuff back from when I, uh, was playing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and blame Andy for the audio problems that I'm- I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's my own incompetence. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's continue from where we left off. And, uh, Andy, also, thank you again for your help earlier today, um, uh, with what we were talking about. Uh, I did actually try to do one post, uh, and the link wasn't working, um, but that's, we'll, we'll talk about that later. What's up, bodies? We're picking up at this 
awful checkpoint. This is where I got stuck at the end of the last stream. So hopefully I'm not trapped here for too long, considering that this is where we're beginning today. Whoa, a 300 reference. Nice and relevant. I'm doing good, bodies. I'm doing good. I ended up getting the day off from work today uh, after having gone in. You know, I, I, I showed up and they realized that they were overstaffed. Uh, I don't really want to explain the whole situation. Uh, but for... There were some reasons why it took them longer than I would have expected to decide to send people home. But it's okay, because I am home and now I am back with some more Duke. Which is what I had been hoping to do today. Can kill this guy. Okay, damn. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Recharge your ego, Duke. Damn it, I died. I was afraid that that's exactly what was going to happen. Turns out it was. Grr. Blame audios for you, crushing. Did I play Arma 3? No, I've never played that. Spacebar to continue. All right. My brain has trouble adjusting to the fact that uh, this version of the game on PC doesn't have the Xbox 360's terrible load times. Okay, maybe I'll just kill this one. Or maybe I'll die? No, I'll kill this one. I'll be successful in that. So that's good. Now, kill everybody. Good, bad, I'm the guy with the gun. Yeah, nothing like some army of darkness to get this rolling. Personally, I... Shit. Personally, I don't think Duke rips off Bruce Campbell enough. This scene was in the trailer, right? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. They, they, they had one of the turret scenes in the trailer. I think they had the turret scene in the trailer from, like, way earlier, though. There's a turret scene um, on top of Duke's uh, Lady Killer Casino where he's using the uh, the laser gun uh, built into the Duke cave and he takes down like a really massive ship. But they may have included clips from here as well. Uh, there's there's a few there's a few clips that I recognize from the trailer. They definitely include the moment where Duke rides an RC car off of a statue's ass. But the funny thing is, you only can really recognize it as an ass if you've played the game and seen the statue from a different angle. The reviews make sense now? Yeah. I don't know. I think this game was reviewed harshly, although this part sucks. But see, this part sucks because of the difficulty I'm playing it on. I'm playing this on the hardest setting. So, of course, the enemies are kind of sponging me out at this point. Alright. Okay, don't die, Tim. Okay, okay. Sort of made it. I might actually survive the checkpoint this time. Yeah, I might actually live this time! Holy shit! Well, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself, but if you survive... Tim, you better survive this time. Yeah, it's hard to say. They're fucking teleporting. Oh, yeah, okay. No, it's... We're good. We're good. Unless this thing fucking kills me, which would be stupid. Yeah, this part is supposed to damage you. He's gonna fire missiles at me and I'm gonna need to jump off this thing in a second. The sunglasses breaking is awesome. Yes, that is a nice touch. Okay, 
Get off the fucking thing before it falls. Damn. Those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Alright, let's go. I never liked that checkpoint. But now that checkpoint's over. And the game gets to be good for a while now. Alright, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the stuff there. Hmm? I need to stop making Duke voices. Okay, what am I grabbing here? There's a Devastator. Uh, yeah. I think, at least for now, I should drop the shotgun for the Devastator. Because I'm still... I'm still outside. So the machine gun's gonna be more useful. Yeah, now I have to fight one of these things just mano a mano. But I like it much better than the turret section. See, I like this game best when it's not doing, like, fucking scripted bullshit. Because the turret sections all suck. The turret sections all suck, and I wish they would just get cut out of the game. Um... I like when you're fighting in the street and you get the option to use the turret. That's cool. But like the the rooftop and then that part there that I just got past, thank God. Don't like those parts. Son of a bitch! That better have checkpointed me. Because if I have to do the whole previous fight, I'm gonna throw something. Did I splash damage myself? Oh, thank God. Okay. Good. I was uh, actually afraid for a second there. Double your pleasure. Let's take the Devastator. Alright. Oh, that's the same ship that shot at me earlier. That's why it's smoking. Damn. Tim, be fucking careful. 69 shots. Nothing. Yuck. Alright. More like Duck Nukem, am I right? Alright, so he's gonna throw the thing. Alright. Let's get him when he turns around. I'm gonna leave the shots as much as he can. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Fuck. It's a 2D image in the ground. Uh, down there? Yeah, for the most part. I see shadows heading on one side, and I, I, for the life of me, can't tell if those are polygons or if that's like a bump map and the light source is just on the other side. It is too far away for me to tell. Ooh, shit. But I mean, like, I know that that three, you know, three-pronged building is 3D. But that's, that shit over there in the distance, that's a fucking, that's just like a static image. The fog effect that they added does kind of hide it a bit. But you can totally tell what they're doing there. So, you are correct, Baxter Bunny. I feel like half of video game development is just trying to hide your tricks so people don't spot it. Whoop! And there we go. Got him. Okay. I wonder if I could have, like, gone that way before the fight ended. Oh, shit! We got goons! Well, goons, I have guns. Okay, 
you gotta fucking stop. Big hole. It's like 3D. Yeah, that's right. Shit! Oh! Yep, here we go. Alright. Gotta break free. Oh no, don't fall! Punch him in the fucking face! Yeah! Time to time to ride this jetpack severed head dude all the way into the Duke Burger. This was I remember this moment here was a teaser before the game came out. And I wish to God that you could actually control the trajectory of the uh, disembodied alien. That would be that would have been so fucking cool. Because in concept, as an action moment, that is really, really neat. All right. I've earned a bite of my sandwich. All right. And of course, we got our pig cops, but as friendly fast food joint mascots. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, considering that, like, I'm the hero and they're the villain. Like, that would be kind of like if Ronald McDonald was based off of, like, Audie Murphy or something, and then half of the mascots in McDonald's were literal Nazis. Like, that's the only equivalent comparison I can think of to them having pig cops uh, in a fast food joint. Oh no! Damn! They killed the cashier. That sucks. Let's take the money. Who spent $847 on... That's crazy. Also, uh, these Duke Nukem action figures are making me nostalgic because when I was a kid, I actually had one of the uh, McFarlane Toys uh, Duke Nukem action figures. And I had, um, I also had a Pig Cop and an Octobrain. The Octobrain that I had, it had bending tentacles, uh, like rubber tentacles, and uh, it had a big gooey brain. Um, and inside the brain was, like, a squishy gel pack, um, with, like, glitter in it that was supposed to give it, like, this weird iridescent sheen. Um, but the gel pack ended up popping, and its brains just kind of leaked out, and also the tentacles all dry rotted. So that toy died to the death. Looks like, uh, Stretch Arms are, who spent $60 on this? People with good taste, goddammit! Ultimately, I've spent much more than $60 on Duke Nukem Forever because I I paid $60 for the game on launch day for the Xbox 360 version. And I liked that so much that when I got the chance, I bought the Balls of Steel edition for PS3. Um, and then later when I got a PC that was up to snuff, I bought the game again on PC. And then on top of that, I've bought the DLC campaign for the Xbox 360 version and for the PC version. I can't remember if I have it for... PS3. So, I I don't know how much I've spent on Duke Nukem Forever in total. My guess would be under 200 but definitely over $100. Um, and I have no regrets about it, because the reason that I did follow-up purchases was because I liked, the, I liked the base game so much. And the base game was the 360 version, which apparently is the worst version, so I don't know. People hate this game, and I've never really understood why. Time for more ego? You're right, it is, because I've got... I've got one of Clinton's Cubans over here. Let's smoke a cigar. Yeah! Now, he smokes this cigar awful fucking fast, so I'm gonna try to run to the bathroom as quickly as I can so I can, like, see the cigar in the, uh, mirror. Hopefully I make it in time. I kind of am getting tripped up on the environment, though, so I might not be able to. Run! 
Motherfucker, run! Ow. I'm actually gonna restart the checkpoint for that. I'm actually restarting the checkpoint for that, because I want to see the reflection of Duke with a cigar in his mouth. There we go. It does. It does actually show up. See, here's one of the interesting things about Duke Nukem Forever, which I think it doesn't get much credit for. You know how most games where you get a funny idea in your head and you want to, like, really see if, if you can actually do the thing that you think you can do? Most games will block you off with, like, an invisible wall or some, like, contrived scripted reason to not let you do something. Duke Nukem Forever is not like that. If you think you can do it in this game, based on your understanding of the game's mechanics and and uh, what's available to you in the environment, odds are you can actually do the thing that you're trying to, to do. Now, the cigar burns too quickly, but you can actually see the reflection of the cigar when you go to the bathroom. Here we go. So I just need to get, not get caught on the environment uh, much. Son of a bitch. If you see it, you'll only see it for a second. But it is there. Okay, just don't walk into the shrink pad. There you go. There it is! Duke's cigar, and it's poking through his gun, too. Who's that handsome devil? Yeah! Duke's pose with this gun is fucking ridiculous looking. Like, what the fuck? Here's looking at you, kid. Oh, we are dropping frames like hell. That ain't good. Please even out, OBS. Damn, Come I'm on, man. good. Yeah, there we go. For enduring this game. Well, thank you very much for that. It's, uh, it's, it's not a... I, I appreciate that very much. Uh, it's, it's not hard for me to endure this game. I, I, like, unironically love this game. Um, I, I truly think Duke Nukem Forever is a great game. You know, I'm, I'm not joking, I'm not being silly. Okay. Alright, uh, let's unshrink ourselves. Turn off the power. I'm back to full size. Open the door, and there is another ego boost in here. Okay, it's not in here, but can I use the toilet? Oh god. I can use the toilet, and this poor guy is just stuck. Camille, what's up, man? Remember when I got glitched in Duke 3D? Wait, when the World door crushed me? Cold and deep too. Or when uh, when I died while shrunk? Oh, hey, look, there's a piece of shit. No what? Shit finger painting? There's a piece of shit I can throw. Wait, let me throw the piece of crap over. Let me throw the piece of crap into into here. Can't, will it land? Yeah, the piece of crap's in there now. So it's gonna be in there when I'm shrunk. And then for more ego boosts, I gotta read this copy of Slut Butts. Cool. And this poor guy is dead. Let's shrink. Shrinking and rushing into that one room. Yeah, I do actually remember that. I don't think it was a glitch. I think that was just, like, really awful timing on my part. You just got a yellow belt in karate and your first armor. Good for you. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna destroy the mirror. Yeah, take that, bathroom mirror. Oh, god damn it. When Duke blows up the bathroom, he really blows up the bathroom. Yeah, Duke Burger is my favorite part of this game. Alright. Now, where's that piece of shit? There's that piece of shit. Yuck. Let's just knock that around. Oh, cool! I got shit on the wrench! 
I didn't even know I could get shit stains on the wrench. That makes sense. Yeah, this is Duke Burger. You've been breaking your legs. I hear you, man. Yeah, Duke Burger is so fucking good. All right. You know, at one point in time, uh, this game was supposed to be made with Unreal Engine 1. So the 2001 trailer for this game uses the same game engine as Unreal Tournament. What am I playing? I'm playing Duke Nukem Forever! Shit. I'm playing Duke Nukem Forever. It's a very, very naughty game. It's a very violent game. <clears throat> this game has just about every single content warning you can put on a box. Um... Whoa, let me drop everything. It's funny, because I was reading a, um... Uh, uh... I was reading an article on this game one time, and the developers actually said they, w said they went out of their way to put questionable content in there, and, to, and they were working with the ESRB to just, like, see exactly how far they could take the M rating. So this game has an M rating for blood and gore, intense violence, mature humor, nudity, strong language, use of, uh, sorry, yeah, blood and gore, intense violence, mature humor, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, use of drugs and alcohol. This with Unreal 1 probably would have been great. In my opinion, this with, uh, I think this is Unreal Engine 2.5. But I can't verify that because it's that's not a matter of public record. Um, I know this uses some version of the Unreal Engine. Uh, it's just which version is hard to say. By the way, the uh, collapsing tiles here are dynamic, so um, sometimes they fall on the floor in such a way that you can't jump on top of this trash can. And actually, I've just knocked them around enough that I can't. Um, So you're supposed to step on this pad and go this way, but I am trying to... Oh yeah, you can walk on dead bodies. You can move dead bodies around and walk on them. You can push objects and dead bodies around while you're small, and then use them to platform. Which is another reason why this game is so fucking cool. I don't care what anyone says. Look at that. Look at that. I can use that to get up here. There's nothing up there, but I can. Unreal games feel so similar, yes. Yeah, Postal 2 used Unreal Engine 2. Um, and I actually, even though this game is much newer than Postal 2, I think that this game uses uh, uh, a modified version of Unreal Engine 2. Um... The, the reason for that is the, uh, the reason I'm saying that is that the lighting and physics remind me a crazy amount of Splinter Cell Conviction. Splinter Cell Conviction used Unreal Engine 2, um, 2.5 again. Effectively Unreal Engine 2, but updated. Um, Splinter, not Conviction. Act, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory used Unreal Engine 2.5, um, and... You know, like, if you immediately eyeball it, you can't tell that Splinter Cell Chaos Theory and Postal 2 use the same engine. Uh, mostly because Postal 2, I don't think, uh, uses bump mapping at all, but... See, I picked up a beer here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'm good. This was a productive, uh, uh, veer from the beaten path. This game came out when you were three years old. Yeah. Ouch. That hits me right, uh, right where I'm sensitive because this game came out when I was 22. Yeah. Um. I think. I I think that actually every single Splinter Cell game uses Unreal Engine 2. 
even as recently as Blacklist. I'm not sure. I... I might be wrong. If there was an engine switch to a newer version of Unreal, it would have occurred with um, Splinter Cell Conviction. But I know that Splinter Cell and Pandora Tomorrow and Chaos Theory and Double Agent all use Unreal Engine 2. I know that for certain. And then... Um, and then Conviction and uh, Blacklist is where I start to be not so sure. I do know that they use some version of the Unreal Engine, and I think it's 2, but I don't know. Yes! Really, I if, if you're saying, was I really 22 when it came out? Yes, I was really 22 when it came out. DNF was a major letdown for how long we waited for it. I, you know, here's the thing. I actually disagree. I think DNF... Um, I think DNF did a bad... Okay, how do I put this? I think the biggest issue with how Duke Nukem Forever is publicly seen is because of the misconception that Duke Nukem is a Doom-like 90s first-person shooter series. And it's not. Duke Nukem as a series is not. But the reason that perception exists is because the most famous and well-loved game in the series is Duke Nukem 3D. But Duke Nukem as a series is something that always does different genres. Always. Duke Nukem 1 and 2 were side-scrollers. Duke Nukem 3D was a first-person shooter. Duke Nukem Zero Hour was a third-person shooter slash adventure game. Um, Duke Nukem Time to Kill was a fucking Tomb Raider clone for fuck's sake. Uh, Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project was a, was a side-scroller Metroidvania type. The Duke Nukem series is much more diverse than people realize it is, and people bring that expectation to it. Um, but Duke Nukem is always going to be, on some level, a riff on whatever is out and popular at the time. Granted, because it's going to take gameplay mechanics from what's out and popular at the time, that hurt this game. Some of the E-Duke mods are better in your opinion. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I played the Duke Nukem Forever um, 2013 mod. The one that's, you know, in E-Duke and uh, bases itself on, like, the 2001 trailer for the game. So, like, you get to ride the donkey in that mod. I thought it was pretty cool. Another day... I, I thought it was a really good mod. Y you gotta understand, I am I am in the minority of people that actually really likes this game. Guts. Let's see what they look like. But here's where this gets weird. Here you did too. It was funny. Yes. Here here's where my opinion gets a little bit weird, um, and I recognize it for that. Um, the first Duke Nukem game to really disappoint me was not Duke Nukem Forever, and it wasn't Time to Kill on the PlayStation. I, I didn't play it at the time. It wasn't Zero Hour. Zero Hour is a fucking great game, and anybody who says it's not is not paying attention to the game they're playing. Um, I just, like, I see people write off Zero Hour, and it's just like... I'll say this. As much as I defend Duke Nukem Forever, Duke Nukem Zero Hour is probably a better Duke Nukem Forever than Duke Nukem Forever itself is. And that's coming from someone who just adores this game. I, I, like, it's it's hard for me to communicate that. I don't like this game a little bit. I love this game a lot. This game was probably my favorite game the year it came out. Blood, baby. Um. Die, pig! Get him! Dude, I love how satisfied Duke uh, sounds after he, after he blows up the pig. Boom! Step on him! Sounds like fortune cookies. That's awesome. I also realize that there's just not many people that like this game. Even even pe among people who like this game, I don't think there's very many people who like it as much as I do. Why are there little pigs? Because there's shrink pads all over this level. There's little pigs for the same reason that Duke Nukem got. <laughs> and actually... Yeah. 
See, there's there's a shrink, there's two shrink pads right there that you can't avoid. So I'm gonna go in here and kill some of these pigs. Although I will fight at least one of them legit. Time to paint the town red. Boom, you're dead. There is multiplayer in this game, actually. Um I've only ever played one or two rounds of it. Never really got much of a chance to fuck around with the multiplayer. I think it's peer-to-peer, -peer, though, so I think... I think it's possible to still play this game's multiplayer online. Hello, you! Yeah, fuck you, piggy. Alright. Can I climb this cup? No, I guess I don't need to. The kidney buster. Also, I'm not 100% positive on this, but I think that this Duke Nukem mascot back here is the same model that they used in the 2007 um, Christmas trailer, but I'm not sure. It just looks like it. Dude, I never played Postal 2's multiplayer. I would love to. Okay, do I want the shotgun? Yeah, there's also small EDF soldiers. So part of the alien's whole strategy is to shrink um, uh, the human forces. Whoops. Do I want the shotgun right now? I'm having trouble figuring out if that's what I want. I know I want to hold on to the Devastator for like a while. No, I'll keep using the machine gun for now. Oh, there's another railgun down there. I have a full ammo for it. Mr. Happy's Mustard. What's it say? We put smiles on your wieners. Yeah, okay. Let's... Some random interaction with the environment that you don't even need to do. It's one of the things I love about this game. Remember the Dreamcast with 16-bit uh, idiot? Yeah, I do. It was great. Thank you very much. I'll tell him you said that, too. Ah, yes. Let me destroy some of these, uh, some of these things. All right. Oh, no! That's not where that goes. Ugh. I can climb his head and get out of here. Shit. Stupid rat, get out of my fucking face. Yo, your head's rolling around, buddy. You have you have seen better days. Stop. Okay. Alright. Here they come. Shit. I'm gonna try not to get hit. I'm gonna try to lure these guys towards shrink pads. Oh crap. Come on, buddy! Yeah! Die, you fucking idiot! Alright, he's dead. I hope. Alright. And you're dead. One of them is still alive, I think. I'm from Las Vegas, and I say kill them all. I wish that Duke's tiny person voice was pitch shifted instead of sped up. Oh, god damn it! That's not the right button. Well, if I can lure him towards me, maybe I can... Yeah, that'll work. I was gonna try to kill the last guy while he was still big, but it's it's whatever. I got the checkpoint, and I'm not mad, so... If you were an alien, you would step on me, it would be extremely effective. Yeah, they were trying to. They will, actually, if you if if uh, if they don't step on a shrink pad first. The whole idea is you're supposed to like lure them towards the shrink pad. Um, so I I kind of am really way too amused by the fact that they actually wrote full like descriptions and nutrition facts for the for the condiments, like Skeet Man's tangy mayo 
Now what's it fucking say here? When you want a man-sized sandwich, you need a man-sized sauce. Load up your loaves with gobs of mouth-watering Skeet Man's tangy mayonnaise. Skeet Man's mayo is so good, you'll be smacking on the back of your bread. That's so stupid. Don't smack it on my bread. Fry up your favorite dish with Greaseco Grease. Greaseco is made from only the finest fatty meat byproducts. Great for cooking and also a great lubricant for adult entertainment. Use Greaseco Grease for all of your greasy ass needs. I'm not gonna read them all, but it's the attention to detail and the fact that this game is fucking filthy. Let's go this way. Ah, yes! Time for a fight! I'm gonna take cover behind the, the heinous anus baked beans. Welcome to the International House of Pain. Fuck you, piggy! Die! Dude, I love this game. I absolutely love this game. Don't just use any crap mustard on your wieners. Misty ha Mr. Happy's mustard makes your wieners taste better than just meat in your mouth. Feel free to spread Mr. Happy's mustard on anything, such as burgers, fries, fish, or Rocky Mountain oysters. Sure. Fuck you! No, don't you, don't you throw that at me. Fuck. Well, thanks for the cover. I'm gonna kill you with this now. Dumbass. You want fries with that? All right. Let's take that. Gotta jump over to that side. Duke's chili. And no, that's not just a static object, it's all physics! This game loves its physics. Doom Eternal is great. Totally better than Doom. Think the game is too slow or scripted is the issue? I mean, maybe. But see, my main memories of playing Duke Nukem 3D mostly involved a lot of fucking around. So part of it is... I play the game slow because I stop to smell the roses and there's a lot of roses to smell in this game. In fact, this is one of the smelliest games I've ever played. Here we go. Hey, I'm trapped. You got to find a way to turn off the electricity. Help me, please. This I think is the best room in the game. It it's a it's a nice combat puzzle. We're going to have a whole bunch of you see the rats over there? Yeah, so I'm gonna kill all these rat. Okay, I love this because I like cheesing my way through combat encounters, but this time I'm gonna actually cheese my way through the combat encounter. I'm gonna lure them toward the traps. Ha ha! I love this game. Shut up! I don't care what anyone says. All right. Boing. Oh, please don't fall. I'll be fine, lady. It's the fact that this part of the game also just feels good and silly too. Has a fun fast feel. He's so cute, all small like that. I just want to put him in a burger and eat him up. It does. Although Duke Nukem 3D wasn't always that fast in the grand scheme of things. Duke Nukem 3D was... Uh, uh, Duke Nukem 3D was designed for a totally different control scheme, and the control scheme has a lot of, like, stop and look in it. It's a little hard for me to explain at the moment. But it's like, the default control scheme is you have arrow keys, you have period and comma for strafe. Uh, to enable mouse look, you had to press a button to activate mouse look and then stop. It's like certain areas of the game were designed for you to stop and look at it. 10,000 IQ. What did she just say? I'm not sure. Of lightning bug. That captain is such a dreamboat. 
She was saying she wishes there's another season of Lightning Bug. That is a Firefly joke. Here we go. Now we gotta get through here. You don't want to touch the floor because you'll die! Alright. Ah, now we're being washed. It's okay, we need to be washed. Duke is a dirty, dirty boy. Can you grab the rats and throw them in the water to be able to jump on them? You know, I've never tried. Probably. Maybe. I don't know if the rats are big enough to actually... Like, I would guess that if the rats touch the water, they probably jib. I would have to lure them into the water first. And I'm not sure how to do that. Excuse me. I'm not sure how I would lure them into the water. Need to calm down. Um. Think happy thoughts. So I... I really like pie. Cherry, blueberry. What is she on about? She's on about literally pie. Something, something. All right, I'm gonna knock this down here. Oh, that flavor's fast. Like that can is probably tall enough that it clears the water. Yeah, it does. It does clear the water. Um, but I'm not entirely sure that I could make it all the way there. Let's see. Shit, get over there. Yeah, that's not moving. Fuck, can I... Okay, I can sort of move it, but now I don't know how to stop it. Eh. You know what, I'm not far into this checkpoint. Let me see if I can jump on that can. I can! I was alone in here and clapped. Would anyone hear me? Holy crap! Can I stand on this now? Can I stand where she is? Ah, uh, No, I don't think I can. I may have screwed myself over. I probably have screwed myself over. Hi! Oh god! Your eyes are so dead! Ah! You gotta go? I'll see you around, man. She is on drugs? No, man! She's on Skeet Man's Tangy Mayonnaise! Unless, unless the mayonnaise is drugs. Okay, uh, I hurt myself. And I need to get back over there without dying. I think the only way to do that is to get drunk. That way I can prevent myself from taking damage. So I'm gonna get drunk and run. Shoot the barrel. Jeez. Alright, let's see. Yeah, awesome! I made it. Is instead of electricity. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, I should be able to make it back now. Cool. Yeah. And see, that's kind of what I mean. Like, there's so much... There's so much fucking around you can do in this game. And it just lets you. There's a dead soldier in the sink. That's dark. Alright. Oh, shit. Well, can I climb this thing? Yes, I can. Good. Awesome. I actually didn't know I could climb that, so that's... Wow. Oh, that's cool. Water. I hope I have to pee before he can save me. Uh... Oh, yeah, this thing. Gotta knock this over. Cool. Now I can make it. I hate pigs, but I love bacon. But that that's what I mean, is that like, you know, that that's I just did something I've never done in this game. That's cool. Fuck! Alright. Jackass. Ah. They keep moving my cover. Come on, dickwad. Damn, okay. Ah, shit. All right, let's go up. I got mustard all over my face. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, hey, okay. There we go. 
The fact that he's talking about bacon, yes. That is an angry looking pig. I got blood on the glass. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, well. That was a little awkward. He's smaller. That means his brain is smaller. I wonder if his thoughts shrink too? God, lady. Okay. Sure. Huh? Okay, now their bodies aren't stacked up uh, high enough for me to climb. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Colt, because I don't like the Colt very much. Not that great of a weapon. Oh! Careful, Tim. Uh, that's where I gotta go. Okay. He died angry. She drank too much beer today? Oh, God. No, it's just the, it's just the, um, the power cable coming from the floor and the sinks overflowing and all that. Just bad luck. Ah, shit. Okay. Damn it, I'm getting shot. Die, fucker! Hoo-hoo! Yeah, fuck you! I just put a fucking trip mine on his head. Did that kill him? No? Maybe this'll kill him, though. Oh, that killed the fuck out of him. Yeah, screw you, piggy. All right. This little piggy gets none. All right. There's some hot buns. Buns for crossing. Hot crossing buns. He's so cute, all small like that. I just want to put him in a burger and eat him up. Ah, hey! That's a weird thing to say. Well, you can platform on this dead guy. That's neat. No, I just I find this game impressive both for what it for what it purports to let you do, but also what it doesn't stop you from doing if you figure out how to do it. This is definitely a game for people who like to experiment. Weird vor, yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely a vor moment. Jesus, you're right. Oh boy. If I was alone in here and clapped, would anyone hear me? No. Be careful, Duke. I'm being careful. All right. Don't jump in the oil. God damn. All right. Now I open the door. Power is off. I guess the lights are on a different breaker. I think the water's safe. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hero. I'm also I'll your boss. Door. Yes, please, get the door. She, I like how she's actually kicking the the sauce thing. Like a puck. Come get some on your face. My kind of writing. Ah. I wonder if he'd let me pick him up and pet him. Maybe I should ask first. Yeah. And also no. Duke ain't no stuffed animal. All right. And moving on. Now make me a number three with large fries, right? Hmm. No. 
this rooftop battle that's coming up is basically the rooftop battle coming up is basically lifted straight out of Left 4 Dead. Save your life only for food. Here we go. Mmm. One of the best guns in Duke Nukem history is the fucking Shrinker. What am I gonna drop for it, though? It's not gonna be the Devastator, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop... I'm actually gonna drop the fucking... Yeah. I'll drop the rocket launcher for that. I like it. A lot happened while you were in communicado. We'll be there to pick you up in five minutes. Alright, let's drop that. Where's my drugs? Gimme those, thank you. Hmm. Fresh hardware. Okay, I have a hollow duke pickup now. And we're about to do basically the no mercy uh defense. From Left for Dead. Whoa! Hey! You die. Please and thank you. Let's execute you and awesome. That went pretty well. Got any more cinder blocks, you fucking punks? Come here, fools. Oh shit. Ah! Hey! Get away from me, fuckface. Okay, I might need more ammo. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Fuck! Okay, don't... Okay, I thought I was gonna die. That cut it a little close there. What, what am I eating? Oh, I'm eating a sandwich. Uh, it's a ham and cheese sandwich. Nothing interesting. I mean, there, I put some hot sauce on it, I guess. Because I put hot sauce on everything. Ooh, okay. Shrink him. Get him. You got your blood on my boot. How dare he? Okay, I'm out of ammo for this thing, so I'm picking up the fucking rocket. There we go. Shit! No! That's a bad fucking sign. That's really fucking bad. Steroid time. You want to kill these guys fast? If that's how it's got to go. Oh yeah, it's ass kicking time. All right, ah. Break all the boxes and I just fucking hope. Die, you fuck stick. Damn. Oh shit. Yeah, that got a little hairy. Yep, fuck you. Eat it. Hit him again. Fuck you, punk. Bam! Anyone else? Yeah, I didn't fucking think so. More pigs? Or do we actually get... Oh, we get a new enemy type this time. I know you. And I'm fucking shrinking your ass. That's an enforcer. I probably wanted his gun. This might not have been the best move. I don't give a shit. You can't take their guns if you shrink them, but also... I wanted to kill him as soon as possible. Mighty foot engaged. Damn right, Erasus. 
By the way, I'm not sure if I said that properly, so I apologize if I fucked up your name. Wah! Kill! Shrink! Kill! Destroy! Okay. Please kill him. It won't. Damn. Sorry, I'm really trying to take this guy out without fucking... Okay, good. I just didn't want his gun to go away. Because his weapon is really nice. Alright. Oh! Fuck! In fact, it's what I'm gonna pick up now that I'm out of ammo for this thing. Die, please! Awesome. Don't mind if I do! Shit! Did I kill him? Yes, I did. Awesome. I thought I might have uh, fucked up there. Uh, uh. All right. Ooh. Shit. Bold move, fucker. But you're dead. Yo, you got missiles flying around you. I'm getting the fuck away from you. Eat it! Yeah! Who else wants some? Did the other guy fucking die? Where'd he go? Oh, there he fucking is. Pew pew, that's all I can fucking do. Fuck you, punk. <laughs> well, now what? Oh, shit! Yeah, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shrink at least one of these guys. Good. Damn. Fuck it, I'm shrinking both of these guys. I don't give a shit. Come on! Yeah, the assault commanders are even tougher than they were in Duke Nukem 3D. And they took, like, I don't know, five shotgun shots to kill in Duke 3D or something like that. Why does Duke get little? Because there's shrink pads everywhere. Time to move on. The aliens have these little biological shrink pads that if you accidentally step on them, uh, it makes you shrink. But uh, you also have a shrink gun. So you can shrink them. It's pretty fucking wicked. Okay, is that gonna carry with me? I don't know. I wanna see if the, the wreckage of the cinder block flies away too. Eh! Ah, it sort of does. So, Camille, stepping on a shrink pad makes you smaller. Stepping on a particle expander restores you to full size. Ah. Boom! So, Erasus, I haven't seen, or I haven't played Serious Duke 3D, but it makes me want to get the PC version of Serious Sam 3, just so I can play the mod, because the mod looks fucking awesome. So I'm definitely going to play it at some point.
There's the Hoover Dam. Here we go. I like this, like, brassy action movie cover or version of uh, Ride of the Valkyries. This level is your jam? Yeah. See, I feel like everything, like... I feel like Duke Nukem Forever, is, as much as I love it, it's kind of inconsistent. It's got, like, really good moments and really bad ones up until... Up until the end of the Hive. The Hive is awful. I hate the Hive. But then I feel like once you get past the Hive, the game is just really good for the whole rest of its runtime. And, and Duke Burger is my favorite part. Duke Burger is my favorite level, but like, but like only by an inch because, you know, the, this on the road level and the fucking ghost town that you get to, you know, Morningwood, all the way to the like Hoover Dam stuff, it's just awesome. So just hearing that cheesy guitar playing Ride of the Valkyries is just giving me so much life right now. Huh. Kill him! God fucking damn it! Oh shit. Damn. Whoa, okay, we got a lot of a lot of guys need killing down there. Awesome. What else can I blow up? Take that, cactus! That's what you get for retaining water. Alright. Oh, come on, don't overheat. I'm trying to fucking rain down fire from the sky. You little fucker, where'd you go? Oh, I fucking see you, you little bastard. Damn it. Fuck! I was hoping that they wouldn't live long enough. This thing has already circled the drop zone too many times. What's up, Guile? How are you, man? You know how it is. I uh, wasn't... I, I have the night off work... So I'm spending it doing something I, something I like. Okay. Is that everybody? Do we get to land now? I'd like that. Yeah, I think we actually get to land now. Stoned. Nice. Oh, you little fuckstick. Yeah, no, you don't get to live through another pass. Fucking dropship. Awesome. Alright. Time? Time for some fucking shenanigans. The Mighty Foot. In all of its glory. What's the... Mighty Foot. Before we proceed, I want to make sure. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Whoa! I want to make sure that I have everything that I could have gotten from over here first. Oh look, bacon bits. Whew. I still have shrink ray. I still have am. I still have like all the guns that I want to have. We got some Shadow Warrior references. Lo Wang was here. Hmm. Convenient. Hell yeah, son. Alright, let's keep moving. <laughs> Never played this, but you really wanted to at one point. Yeah, this game got, like, torn apart by critics. But I feel like the critics are wrong. 
I feel like the critics are wrong because this game is very much about fucking around. And there is so much fucking around you can do in this game. Like, the graphics are not that great for a game that came out in 2011. I'm not gonna... But, like, that's not a core problem with the game in my mind. I feel like the first half of the game is kind of hit or miss. But the second half of the game is just really strong. There's, like, an alien hive level that is one of the worst things I've ever played. And that's, like, halfway through the game. But once, it, once the alien hive is over, all the levels for the rest of the game are just fantastic. Driving the Mighty Foot is definitely... is definitely a highlight. Is this part of the game feels like, um... It feels like the coastline chapter from Half-Life 2, but, like, you know, ridiculous. I'll say this, Guile, though. Um, if you if you ever get this game, get the PC version. Get the PC version, because uh, the console versions are not as bad as I think people say they are. But th the problem with the console versions is the loading times are really, really bad. I played this game first on Xbox 360, and I had a great time with the game, but every time you die, you're stuck in like a 30 second to maybe even a minute long loading screen. The loading screens are fucking terrible on console. But playing this on a PC on like a fucking solid state drive, it's just heaven. If you like Duke Nukem Forever, which is like the minority of the population, but if you like Duke Nukem Forever, then playing it on a solid state drive is just, it's, it's fucking heaven on earth. Oh yeah! What's up, motherfuckers? Three for one. Awesome! Splatted you into a mountain. Did you drop your gun? Where's his gun? He probably lost his gun. Actually, everybody probably lost their guns. I love crashing shit with tires. Yeah, ouch! I know, man. We're talking about the loading times? We're talking about the, the dudes I just ran over with a fucking monster truck. <laughs> ah, shit. Let's go! Damn. Alright. I did not mean to leave that guy alive. There we go. Oh, this fucking guy. Ah. Is he really throwing fucking cars at me? How strong are these goddamn pigs? Ah, fuck you, punk. Oh, that's right. The pigs come in various different sizes. Beautiful. All right. Okay, gonna go this way real quick. I think that there's something there I can grab. Oh, God. Yeah, the loading. Yeah, the loading screens are fucking rough. Like, I still hear... It's like I, I can almost still hear the... The dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun... The, the looping loading screen music. And I always expect it... Because I've played this game so many times on 360. Um, it, I can't even tell you how many times I've actually played this game. And I realize that it's weird, the, no the amount of times I've played this game, but I can't even tell you how many times I've played this. I've probably played this game the most on Xbox 360. This is also my most played game on Steam. I have put over 100 hours into this game on Steam already. And I think my next most played game on Steam is, like, Dusk. Um... I would really like to pick up a fucking, um, ammo crate. But so I have, I have a hundred hours in this game on Steam. I've probably played this game like twice as many times on console. 
And then I've given it a handful of playthroughs on um, PS3 as well. So, I, I don't know. Put it all together, I probably have... Like... I don't know. Somewhere between 500 to 1,000 hours in this game across the various platforms that I've played it on. And I, it's one of those that I do keep coming back to. What was the first Duke Nukem game I played? The first Duke Nukem game I played was Duke Nukem. That was the first one I played. Um, so, yeah, Duke Nukem 1. That was the first one I played. Duke Nukem 2 is my favorite game in the entire series. Uh, my second favorite game in the series is Duke Nukem 3D. Like, that, that kind of... As much as I love Duke Nukem Forever, you know... As much as I love Duke Nukem Forever, I like Duke Nukem 3D more. Like, of course I like Duke Nukem 3D more. It's one of the best first-person shooters ever made. Um... And I, I, I love me some first-person shooters. Whoa. I think if I were to rank my favorite Duke Nukem games in order, um, this game would be... It's still kind of far down there, which is weird because I've played it more than some other Duke Nukem games I've liked. But if I had to rank them, it would probably go uh, Duke Nukem 2, Duke Nukem 3D, um... Yeah, Duke Nukem 2, Duke Nukem 3D, Duke Nukem Manhattan Project, then probably Duke Nukem Forever, then Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Uh... No! Actually, I would put Duke Nukem Advance before I would put, um... Actually, I would put Duke Nukem Advance before I would put Duke Nukem Forever, now that I think about it. No! No, I would put Duke Nukem Forever before Duke Nukem Advance. You just gave me a video idea. That's what I gotta do. No, first Duke Nukem game I ever played, though, was was Duke Nukem 1. And then Duke Nukem 2, I played that uh, when I was, like, 4. Which meant that I was looking forward to Duke Nukem 3D before it came out. I was looking forward to Duke Nukem 3D when it came out. And, and this is gonna sound weird to say this, but I found Duke Nukem 3D really disappointing. Because it Duke Nukem 2 was so much damn fun. And it was just colorful and fast. And uh it just had so much fucking action and uh it like Duke Nukem 2 is the perfect kid game. Like yeah, it's junky. No, it's not all that wholesome. But, like, if you think about what kids think is awesome, Duke Nukem 2 is the perfect game to play when you're a kid. It's just action, 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 violence, sci-fi weapons, it's colorful, it's... it's really imaginative. Um... It, it's the kind of game that makes you want toys based on it, you know? Duke Nukem 3D is... Of, is phenomenal, yeah. like... Desert road, no gas, and no chicks. So when I say that Duke Nukem 3D disappointed me, it's... Honest to God, it's because I was too young to appreciate it for what it was. But that said, even though it wasn't anything like Duke Nukem 2, because Duke Nukem 3D's action is slower than Duke Nukem 2's. It just is. First-person shooter action is almost universally slower than, uh, side-scroller action. Um... But, uh, Duke Nukem 3D won me over anyway, because even though it's not what I wanted out of a Duke Nukem game, there's, like, no denying how much fun Duke Nukem 3D is anyway. And besides, Duke Nukem 3D did things that captured my imagination, too. It, it did things that I thought were really cool. Um, I had never played a game that felt like it took place in real places. But the fact that, like... You know, there were bathrooms that felt like bathrooms, and it was hilarious that you could actually go pee. And, uh... The, um... 
uh, you could actually go play pool at one of the tables. Like, it's weird. My parents got... I, I was allowed to play the shareware for Duke Nukem 3D. Killing you is as easy as breathing. Precisely because I was such a big fan of Duke Nukem and Duke Nukem 2. And the funny thing is that my parents banned me from playing first-person shooters. It was just that they, I think, knew that if they didn't let me play the new Duke Nukem game, that I would never let them hear the end of it. But, like, I, I did play Wolfenstein 3D's shareware back in the day. I, I really did. But I was very young, and it, it upset my mom to see me playing a, a game that was that violent. Um, so... I was very quickly no longer allowed to play Wolfenstein. Uh, but I did play through Wolfenstein... Well, not through, but I did play Wolfenstein 3D Shareware. I, I did get to experience basically the... the original first-person shooter back when it was new. I, I didn't get to experience the whole thing because, one, I lacked the skills to complete the game because, you know... I was a fucking little bitty kid. Um, but, uh, no, I was banned from playing first-person shooters after that, and the, the exception to that was Duke Nukem 3D. They were made for an older audience while playing Sin years after the first as a kid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Duke Nukem 1 and 2 are made for kids, you know? Or at least they feel like they are. At the very least, they're not kid-unfriendly. Um, there's another game that I really like from the era called Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, which you play as, like, a little green alien with freckles and with suction cups for hands. And it's just the cutest fucking game. It's, it's like, Commander Keen is already a pretty wholesome game. Cosmo is even more wholesome. Um, it's even more wholesome and kid-friendly. Uh... And Cosmo is actually set in the Duke Nukem universe, which is the weird thing. Um, there's a there's a scene in the game where Cosmo rescues Duke Nukem, who is frozen in like a ice crystal or something. Whoa! And Duke Nukem's like been in a few other games as tie-ins, but that that was the first. The first time I remember ever seeing a character from one game show up in another game was when I was playing Cosmo's Cosmic Adventure and I rescued Duke Nukem. Which again, if you like if you're a Duke if you're a kid, if you're a kid and you're a Duke Nukem fan and you're playing this cute ass kid game and then you end up rescuing your hero from another game, it's just the best fucking feeling. Like just, man, there's a, there's a sense of childlike wonder and joy that this series has never recaptured ever since it went 3D. So when I say that Duke Nukem Forever didn't disappoint me much, and when I say that Duke Nukem 3D was the first game in the series to disappoint me, that's not me saying Duke Nukem 3D is a bad game. It's to say that I already have gotten used to the fact that Duke Nukem is never going to go back to being the thing that I want, that I loved as a kid. It's never going to go back to that. But what it is, is still the, like, some of the best there is out there at what it's doing. Um, Duke Nukem 3D is, like, you know, Doom is a more important game, obviously, but Duke Nukem 3D is obviously a better game than Doom. Like, I, I would never make the opposite argument. Um... Are those enemies really tough, or is the shotgun kind of wimpy? I'm probably using it at the wrong range. The shotgun is nerfed a bit on this difficulty setting. I'm playing it on Damn I'm Good, and the enemies all take a little bit more pepper to season them. But, it's, it's, you know. So part of that is the difficulty. The shotgun's not really wimpy. They just, uh, the enemies take more damage on fucking uh, hard, or on Damn I'm Good. Alright, let's, uh... It's <laughs> Sorry, I had to get the ego boost, but I didn't want to look at the... I didn't want to look at the screen. In case, you know. Just because I don't want to fucking alt-tab out and then put up the Jesus tag and go through that dance right now. 
Heard, Pepper, yeah. Canadian Duck, I'm glad you remember that game. Not much, man. Not much. I didn't know that I was going to be off tonight, so I was not originally planning to stream. Um, but uh, whether or not the restaurant is open outside depends a lot on weather conditions. So, here I am. Uh, I was thinking about streaming Power Slave today, but... When I looked inside my heart, I knew that what I wanted to play was Duke Nukem Forever, which is going to address what you're saying, Matt Turkey. I understand. If you don't like this game, I understand and I don't judge. But believe it or not, Matt, I love this game. No irony in that either. Duke Nukem Forever is... Duke Nukem Forever was my favorite game in the year it came out. All right, got the ego boost for that. And they're so far away that you can't even see the boobies. But you can see the sharks. But yeah, Canadian Duck, I was thinking about streaming Power Slave today. Um, uh, but in, in my heart of hearts, I knew I wanted to play more Duke Nukem. I remember playing Cosmo when you were six. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh shit, there's a fucking dead EDF troop over here. Can I give him a proper burial? I'm gonna blow you up for the, for the sake of dignity. There. He would have wanted it that way. Alright, let's keep going. Power boobs! Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. The, the ego boost they give you. These, uh... The boobs in this game actually serve a gameplay purpose. Even the even the horrible wall boobs. Whoa, shit. All right, let's keep moving. Don't run over the cars because if they explode, you get hurt. Oh god. <gasps> Whoo, that got a uh, little bit dicey there. I think that there's a few reasons, a few major reasons why this game isn't well liked. And I, I think it's because, I think it's because Duke Nukem is a chameleon series. It, it's a series that is not pigeonholed into one genre, but because the most famous game in the series is a classic example of a specific type of game, that people will go into every Duke Nukem game with those expectations. Um, so that's, I think, a big part of it. God fucking damn my wrist is killing me. Like, I, I have this nasty, nasty bite on my wrist and I've been scratching at it. So my skin's all fucked up right here. That's my that's my fault. You love the streams, thanks man. Dude, I appreciate that. Alright, let's Let's ride this billboard. Yeah, this part is like totally the coastline chapter from Half-Life 2. Don't fall! Ooh! That's true, you have time to kill and it's like a Tomb Raider style game. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, Land of the Babes also is uh, very much like that. Oh, hey, we got a dude shooting rockets at us from the water tower. Let's fuck up his day. All right, buddy. Down you go, fuckface. He's not a jaywalk. He's... Okay. Whatever, Duke. Say whatever you want. Let's kill the pigs taking a mud bath. And let's... So much for any off breaks. Yeah, there we go. Let's just break everything. I wonder... Hold on. I wonder if it's possible for me to... Oh shit, we got more pigs down there. Oh, they're so far away that they don't really... 
So they can get up here. Okay. Well, let's fucking... Just call me Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, got our, got our death race jokes there. Awesome. How far can I move that? Ah, it's fine. Let's go here. Now, you can't open this door, but that's fine because you can just climb that. Alright. Awesome. Got beer. What else is in here? Just like Christmas. Oh, cool. We got our rats. Hello, rat. You hungry, folks? Doing this earlier in the game gives you an ego boost for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways. Now come back here, rat. Come back. Let's open the door. How far can I bring this rat? You thought uh, Total Meltdown ran at 60 FPS? No, it's 30 FPS. Okay, that's fine. Okay, maybe it was unkind to throw the rat. But it was also unkind to throw the rat into the uh, microwave, so... It's all good. Boom! Ah, oh, that's where I gotta go. Whoa! Keep moving. Jump! All right. Yeah. We gotta back up and build up a little speed. I still need to get uh, time to kill. There's there's two versions of Duke 3D I need to hunt down. I need to hunt down Duke Nuke. Sorry, not time to kill. I have time to kill. I need to hunt down Duke Nukem Total Meltdown on PlayStation, because that's just Duke 3D. Um, but I also need to hunt down the Sega Saturn version of Duke Nukem 3D. The reason being, the Sega Saturn version of Duke Nukem 3D is actually... It, it's weird. They ported Duke Nukem 3D to the Sega Saturn by rebuilding the game in the Power Slave engine. What would Duke Nukem name his rat? That's a really good question. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what he would name his rat. Um... Because it would have to be something either sexual or something, um, something self-aggrandizing. Whoa! Whoa, shit, okay. So I'm not sure. Total Meltdown has a new episode that spoofs other PS1 games. Okay, I need to fucking play that. I absolutely need to fucking play that. God damn my fucking wrist. Welcome to Morningwood, folks! This is one of the few areas of the game... Sorry, or not one of the few. This is one of those areas of the game that conceptually has always been a part of Duke Nukem Forever. Like... The, the, the Welcome to Morningwood sign, um, in some form or another, has been shown off since the earliest trailers of the game. Oh, hold on. Yeah, give me a second. Gotta do the uh, knocker blocker real quick. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Sorry, Duke has to look at boobies to increase his ego. 
And, uh, you know, you can find a porno mag in the church. <laughs> All right. Unreal Engine, come on, are you going to finish loading in those textures? What the fuck, man? Isn't there a level that's just like a bunch of toilets? Or is that the Saturn version? I'm honestly not sure. All I know is I want to play the Saturn version. I have Duke Nukem 64, which I really like. I think Duke 64 is like the most... Oh, what the... Oh, that's right. I need gas. Alright, I'm going into this fight with a fucking Devastator already. Alright, fuckers. Eat it! Where's the next unlucky son of a gun? Ah! Got our saloon right here. Come on out, jackass! Yeah, idiot! Ha! Whoa! Fuck me! Shit! Shit! Ah, oh, damn it! Fuck, it's gonna checkpoint me back at the church. Ah. Okay, let's let's get the knocker blocker up real quick. I'm so annoyed. Two seconds. All right. Yeah, we're good. I really better win this fight, like on this, on this attempt. I don't want to have to keep bringing up the knocker blocker. I'll be very annoyed if that's how this goes. Fuck you! Alright. Squeal, piggy. Oh, shit! Yeah, no thanks, buddy. Another day, another Come on, idiot! Yeah, fuck off! I'm gonna fucking... Yeah, I gotta be careful. Hello, jackass! Alright. Oh, I see you. Fuck off. Not bad. Woo! He's gonna die. No, he's not. Alright. Now he is. Ah! God damn it, you. You asshole. Alright, he's dead. Whoa! Fuck no! Okay, gotta recharge my ego with your DEATH! Which, yeah, that, that tracks for how first-person shooters work. Ah, there he is. Fuck. Ah. Where is he? He's over there? From a distance, this will do fine. Got him. Damn! Okay, I gotta I gotta duck. I'm gonna go in this way. Hello, pipe bombs and ammo? Is it my fucking birthday? There's the guy. Okay. No, I get it. You jumping down, fucker? 
Yeah, you don't like getting trip mines stuck to you, do you? Also, I don't feel like crossing the street. Fuck you. Hi. I know you're up there, fuckface. Yeah. Uh, I'll get him. Shit. Okay, he's dead. Fuck. Fuck you, you stupid jackass. God damn. All right, ooh, back in here. Good, still more of that good stuff. Oh, you're fucking dead. Are you gonna blow up your friend? No, you're not. Okay. Damn it. Sorry, I see that big dude up there, and I'm just not... I'm not gonna deal with that. I'll shrink you. And then... Yeah! Creative problem solving. Killing a pig. Duke with the unforgiven lines. Oh, shit. All right. Shit. All right. Now let's kill this guy. What do I have here? I don't want to use the Devastator on this guy. Nah, I got enough shrinker. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I'll step on ya. Raining blood, baby. Now, there's been times where I've played this game and his body lands right here. And you can actually climb his body up to the higher level. You can actually, you can get up there and walk around, provided you kill him in the right spot. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know there was shit in here. Yeah, that went well. Ah. Let's solve a little puzzle. We've got to get over there, huh? We've got to get over here to get our gas can. Let's do it. Is there anything interesting up there? Unfortunately, no, there's not. Unfortunately, there is not. Um... I'm gonna go this way. Okay. I don't want to drop really anything I have. I like all of this. I'm just gonna... I'm just keep, gonna keep it all. Let's lower this. Okay. And we needed to do that because when we move this back over that way, we can no longer jump across. Or, so we have to do it that way. We have to lower the ladder. Just a little simple logic puzzle. Nothing too difficult. I think we are about to have fight round two, though. Yeah, we are. That's fine. I brought enough. Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't you fucking dare, guys. Get the fuck away from me. Who's still here? Oh, you are! Shit! 
Yeah, fuck off. I am gonna run out of Devastator ammo, though. That kinda sucks. No, what sucks is that it missed! That's what sucks! Alright. I like the, um... Okay, didn't know there were people up there. Hi! Now that's what I call reducing headcount. Now what? Oh, he's coming up this way, isn't he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, you fucking... Okay. I'm gonna wait for him to reload. Yeah, idiot! Awesome. I'm also gonna liquefy your fucking head. There's really nothing I want from inside this building, so I'm just gonna keep going. Out of Devastator ammo, yet I really want to hold on to as much of it as I can. I want to hold on to the weapon. So... Next couple checkpoints might be tricky, but I don't give a shit. In the base game, I would have only had two fucking inventory slots, so really, I'm doing fine. Jump! Now, this next area that we go to, if I'm remembering right, now, is it the next area or is it the area after? Highway battle might be the area after. But, uh, so. The, uh, demo for this game. Yeah, it's not this area, it's, it's the next. Okay. Yeah, take that, ghost town. Is there anything in here? No. Nope. Oh, there's pigs! There's pigs I can run over. I like running over pigs, especially when they try to do stupid shit like smacking a monster truck. Duke sounds like he's having fun. That's what I want. Have fun, Duke. Shoot at me? I don't think so. That was a silly destroyed animation. Let's go this way. Jump! Yeah! Keep on going. I hope I don't fucking die on this part, because this part is annoying if you... There we go. All right. Just want to get past all these fucking things. There we go. Past the fucking truck. Past this stupid truck. Come on, Tim. There we go. Oh, these fucking trucks suck. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, shit! That was bullshit. That was uncut bullshit. Let's keep going though. I've I haven't had enough of the bullshit. Oh, so this is the way to Phoenix, huh? Somehow that's an appropriate place to respawn after a fiery death. 
go! Fucking stupid ass truck, go! Thank you. Alright, I already know that truck's not gonna live. We're gonna get to the dam. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit! I want to back up and watch the truck uh, crash, though. That always makes me happy. I'll be waiting a minute, though. Yep, there he goes! Yeah, that's what you get, you fucking moron. Beautiful. They're really trying to, like, do whatever they can to ruin my life, aren't they? Oh, now we got our, uh, our rolling rocks. Boom. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Yeah, Duke. You swear at that pig. Fuck you, pig. I'm like Duke Nizzle. <laughs> Ooh, holy shit. Hi. I just don't want to get hit, though, if I'm doing this. Whoa, fuck you. Yep. Yeah, this area right here. It's about, uh, yeah. This area that's loading right here is uh, where the demo happens. out of the Anderson mine. Oh, my face cam is fucking frozen. God damn it. Hold on a second, let me fix that. That's annoying. Had this released back in the day on time, would it have gained better recognition? Um, I think so, yeah. I absolutely think so. Um, I absolutely think so. So here's an interesting thing. Um, Prey. Prey was released in 2006. It was praised for being highly innovative. Uh... for doing a lot of really unconventional, interesting things with the genre. Ah, shit. Nope. I'm restarting the checkpoint. Not doing that. Sorry. I just realized I gave up the Devastator. I'm not going to do that. But if you look at the 2001 trailer for Duke Nukem Forever and then go play Prey, you realize that a lot of Prey's uh, most lauded concepts actually originated with Duke Nukem Forever about five years earlier. A lot of the things that happen, you can you can totally a lot of a lot of praise selling points you see happening in the 2001 Duke Nukem Forever trip. It's it's a little funny. Although mostly it's just I mean Prey is a great game. But I, I really do think the, the best aspects of Prey are the aspects that it shares in common with Duke Nukem Forever. 
And I think that a big part of the reason why Prey is loved as much as it is, is because Prey isn't Duke Nukem Forever. It doesn't carry the baggage with it that Duke Nukem Forever's long development time has. And the thing about that is, Prey itself... Prey itself was in development for a crazy long amount of time, but it wasn't the sequel to anything. Prey was not... Prey was the first game. Nobody was, like, chomping at the bit to play Prey. You know? Um, I'm, I'm sure some people were, but it wasn't, like, a big built-up thing. Duke Nukem Forever, though? Duke Nukem Forever is like, well, we're gonna be a sequel to one of the best first-person shooters ever made. And then it doesn't come out. So people reacted very differently to it. I would argue that in terms of overall quality, Duke Nukem Forever and 2006's Prey are, even in their final forms, really close to each other in terms of quality. Although Prey, inarguably, has better animation. Prey has better animation, um... I wouldn't say better graphics overall. I think Duke Nukem Forever has better graphics overall than, than 2006 Prey. But, like... Not by a landslide, more like just by a little, a little bit. Duke Nukem Forever still looks like, you know, a game that came out from... It's a game that, from 2011, that looks like a game that came out in 2006. And Prey is what? A game from 2005 that looks like a game from 2005. I'm pretty sure at some point during Duke Nukem Forever's development, it was going to have the same engine as Prey, too. Because um, Prey was in Tech 4. It was the Doom 3 engine. Um... And one of the most interesting uses of uh, the Doom 3 engine, too. Because Prey had portals like two years before Portal did. And they worked about the same, except that you couldn't manually place them. Like, yeah, more equipment the player couldn't more place them, but they still function the same. Ooh, oh, okay. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, fuck you, piggy. Oh, hey, there's a there's a beer. Hmm. So now nah, people are gonna jump back on that thing in a second. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get through this uh, next area. I think I know. Yeah, okay. Boom! Alright. Cool! I need to backtrack. Like, now. I'll take that. Beer! Fuck you! I'm too drunk to die! Also, I will execute you, because fuck you. Okay, you better run, Tim. You're gonna get fucking hurt. Shit. Awesome. Yeah, that worked. Kill that piggy! Bad piggy! Wonder if Gearbox will do anything with the series since they own it now? Man, the, the Gearbox hasn't done dick. Uh, what did they do? They, they, they like, shoehorned Duke Nukem into Bulletstorm uh, Full Clip Edition, which I was dumb enough to fucking buy. Um, 
Bulletstorm is a great game, but full clip edition is like, what the fuck kind of repackage is that? Um, yeah, you, you, there is a DLC for full clip edition that lets you play the game as Duke Nukem. But it's not like getting a new Duke Nukem game. It's just that your skin is a Duke Nukem skin. That it, It's a Duke Nukem skin that goes over the main character. And uh, they gave John St. John some new lines to record. But it is such a lazy DLC. It is such a lazy DLC. Um, they don't even, like... Okay. In cutscenes... Um... In cutscenes, the Duke model is just rigged to the animations of the original character that's originally in those scenes. So, like, down to the lip-syncing. So Duke's new lines don't match the animations because the animations for Duke speaking match Grayson Hunt from the original game. So there's times where, like, Duke will finish saying his line and his lips will just keep moving for a few seconds because Grey was given more dialogue than Duke Nukem was. It's a fucking atrocious DLC. Um... The one thing... The one thing Gearbox did with uh, the Duke Nukem series ever since they got it that I actually did really appreciate was that when they did World Tour... I, I don't hate World Tour overall. Um, I hate how much of a pain it is to fucking play the new episode in a different source port. But, um... The new episode, Alien World Order, that's in World Tour, is really, really good. And it is the best bit of Duke Nukem content we have gotten. Um... Looks like Lady Lux just gave Ever since finger. Gearbox acquired it. But that's going on six years now! Yeah, no, it's atrocious what they did. There we go. I wonder how many pork chops I can make out of you. It's it's uh, it's a really goddamn lazy uh, lazy DLC. Um Where is he? What? Where the where the pig on the turret go? Did I lose track of him? Oh, he he moved. He went over this way. He's going the long way here. All right, piggy. All right, buddy. Ah, shit. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, so I'm out of ammo for this thing, so I don't know. I'll just... I'll just pick up the Colt. No, I don't want the fucking Colt. That's too late. You've committed to the Colt. I just remembered that there's an ammo crate up ahead. I just remembered that shit. Ah, whatever. I have a, I have an RPG. I'll be fine. Hey, Kenny, what's up, man? What's good? Just just fucking around with Duke Nukem Forever. I'm like one of ten people on Earth that like this game, and even fewer that like love it. I'd buy this for a dollar. Eh. I still have the Devastator. That's good. There's gonna be a Borderlands movie. You're gonna avoid that one. Yeah. That's fair. Like, it could be good. I don't... I don't really know. I'm not really invested that much in Borderlands. I... I am gonna, at some point, stream Borderlands. Um, 
My favorite original Gearbox series, though, is Brothers in Arms. Like, I... I adore the Brothers in Arms series. That shit is so good. I don't know if any of you have ever played those. If you haven't, though, highly recommend them. Um, I have... I have the first two games in the series on uh, Xbox. And then uh, Hell's Highway I have on 360. I was thinking about picking up the whole series on PS3. Or not PS3, on PC. Um, because they're not expensive on PC, but... I don't know. I, uh... I'm kind of perfectly comfortable playing them on, uh, on console. Like, the games are sort of like... They make me think of, like, if Rainbow Six Vegas was a World War II game, you'd get something like the Brothers in Arms games. You could care less about the world it's set in. Oh, that's fair. I think one of the guns in one of the Borderlands games is explicitly a Duke Nukem reference. I think it's in Borderlands 2. I don't know, though. Alright, I need a second to recover. Oh, shit. Yeah, I took this thing down way faster than normal because I still have the Devastator. Well, I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, but I am fucking destroying this fucking thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's amusing. And of course, in an absolutely ace bit of map design, the, the wreckage from the plane is what helps you platform. It's clever! Everybody's always so focused on, like, what this game does wrong, they don't pay attention to what it does right. There's a shotgun that plays a guitar riff and fires incendiary rounds as a reference to Doom. That's fucking hilarious. Speaking of references, and speaking of series that Gearbox has worked on, you guys like Half-Life? A crowbar would come in handy right about now. Wham. Alright. Whoa, keep moving. Okay, so I gotta cross this gap. Is there anything over here I can grab? Why, yes Time there is. Bring the pain. <sighs> it is a little bit embarrassing how quickly Duke runs out of breath, but have you seen the size of the cigars that this man smokes? <laughs> I don't need the machine gun right now. I'm happy with my loadout the way it is. Oh wait, I gotta throw these out. Because otherwise this thing gets too fucking heavy to to move. Although, I actually am gonna move it while carrying one. Just because one of the ways that I enjoy messing with this game is by... Uh, trying to bring things into new areas. Okay. Mouse button drop. Oh, that is a delightful mess. Are they doing Half-Life? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got a train puzzle on everything, and the crowbar joke, and... Although, the other thing is that a lot of Duke Nukem Forever's game design is, like, textbook Half-Life shenanigans. Okay, how do I... Hmm. 
I'm trying to activate that, uh, that thing, though. Hmm. Ah, damn. Use here. Oh, come on, come on. No! Stupid finicky goddamn key. Get back here. I'm, I'm trying to use this thing at the weirdest possible angle. No, Tim. That was fine. You fucked it up. Shit. Get back in here, fucker. No. Yeah, that'll do. Where'd that, where'd that thing go? He would name it Puke because it rhymes. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There we go. Awesome. Got the clipping and everything. Why, that just looks foolish. I love it. Let's do it. Is that going to do anything interesting, though? Yes, it brought several cans with me. Awesome. That's good, because now I can use these cans in this next fight. I'll take this gas can real quick. Die, alien scum! Fuck you! I'm oh shit, penis you. monsters! Not good. Fuck you! Yeah, I crushed that dick. Nobody crushes dick like Duke 3D. Or like Duke Nukem. What? Dick kick him. <laughs> it was like his name was Duke 3D. I'm Duke 3D. And I... <laughs> right there! Right there. The the way the light is reacting... Or, sorry, the, the way that this... That just looks very much like the way the light works in Splinter Cell um, Chaos Theory. And that's the thing that makes me suspect that this is Unreal Engine 2. Into new areas like rats. Let's see... Uh... Oh, here we go. Broke that. Is there anything back there I can grab? No, there's not. Is there anything up ahead? Not yet. Ooh, you know what? I've actually never tried to obstruct this thing before. What happens if I try to do that? Ah, uh, probably nothing, actually. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, because that's going to turn... You push it, and it's fine. Yeah. No, ah, I lost the barrel. That's fine. I didn't need the barrel. This whole little detour is uh, over now anyway. Although I will benefit from having this weapon out. It is amazing luck that the that the minecart landed right on the tracks, and Duke now has come in his eyes. You die, fucker! You too. 
shit for brains. Bam! And these pigs are just there shooting at my car. What a bunch of dicks. Damn! You alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm gonna go find another uh, ammo thing. What game would you say is criminally underrated? Criminally underrated. So underrated that it's wrong. Um... This one! This one, um... Mostly because I think this game is never going to... I... It's, it's weird. This game is good. This game is really good, I think. But, I, I think that it's never going to recover the, the goodwill spent on its long, torturous development cycle. Um, see, I, I definitely consider myself a lifelong Duke Nukem fan. Um, but that said, the fact that Duke 3D, one, was a game I loved, but two, was a game that disappointed me because it wasn't what I hoped for. It means that my perspective on Duke Nukem games is kind of forgiving. Um, I go into Duke Nukem games not really with expectations of the kind of game it's going to be, but instead I go into Duke Nukem games expecting it to kind of like lightly poke fun at the games around it. Because I never know what kind of gameplay to expect, but I definitely know what kind of tone I'm in for at this point. Um, and, uh... I mean, yeah, I, so I think, I think that this game is, uh, is pretty criminally underrated just because everything that happened with this game's, uh, development is, it, it, it's a matter, all of it is a matter of public record. So, when people were very, very, very disappointed with this game, it makes me wonder if they didn't kind of expect it to be a bit of a mess. Because again, I love this game knowing it's a mess. A very enjoyable mess, but like, this is a game that's, it's almost more fun to just kind of study it as it is to play. This game is almost more fun to study than it is to play. And yet, playing this game is really, really fun. Except for the high le except for the hive level, and except for the mandatory uh, turret section. With with those asterisks, I think that this is uh, a really good game. But apart from this game. Apart from this game, um, another game I would say would be Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard, which was on Xbox 360 and PS3. I don't think there was ever a PC version of the game. Um, and you know what? Similarly, Eat Lead is kind of, it kind of has a gaming parody tone to it, but Eat Lead plays like Gears of War. In fact, Eat Lead plays like a Duke Nukem game. Which is to say that it plays kind of like a joke on something else. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I could've... I... I think I will go back to kill that pig, but... I needed to, like, live first. Road kill. Almost like a beautiful disaster. Yeah! Yeah! That... That really describes my feelings towards Duke Nukem Forever. 
This is one of the most interesting games I've ever played. Damn, did that did that pig derez or something? Where the fuck did he go? I don't know what the fuck happened to him. I drove past him. Huh. Oh well. You've got me thinking now, because I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, games that are underrated that aren't parody games. Um, well, let's kill him with a car. Fuck you, punk! Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Actually, one of the funniest jokes in the game. Okay. Just like Christmas. Well, let's link up with the stupid fucking president. <sighs> you! Damn it, you! Damn you! I had the air breathing out of my damn hand, and you blew it. This, all this death, all of this is your fault. No, it's not. You did this. No, I didn't. You. Now I've got to go find him. Try to repair the negotiations. You ruined. I told you not to get involved, Mr. President. We need to leave now. Where the fuck are my kids? There they are. Oh. This isn't over, Duke. Whoa! What's with your what's with your fucking eyes, dude? Holy shit! Ah! Ah! Oh god! Well, better walk around this building so they don't have to animate him getting into the troop transport. It's like magic! Okay, time for this fight. And this might be the first time I've gone into this fight with a Devastator. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Oh, fuck this pig. Stomp. Oh shit, okay. Damn it! God, oh, these aliens are so stupid. This fight is so... Like, the, clearing this bridge is so easy if you have the Devastator. Oh, fuck. Nope, nope, nope. Of course I talk shit and then get my health reduced. Ah, fuck you, chump. You've got a lot of guts. Let's see what they look like. Oh shit, I gotta run. I am alive! You know what? I need to play that. I know what you're talking about. Slam by reviews, but you found yourself enjoying it. I know what you're talking about. Um, I remember... I remember seeing pre-release material for it, like the whole, like people not approaching you if you point a gun towards them. And you can actually intimidate people with an empty gun, too. Um, it, this is weird to say this, but when... So I heard about that game a long time ago, and then I kind of forgot about it. And when The Last of Us came out, I mistook The Last of Us for I Am Alive, because something about the feelings in, uh, 
uh, evoked by those titles is very similar. Um, so it was years later that I realized that the, uh, that they were totally different games again. Um, but I need to check out I Am Alive. Because I know it's it, it was only ever released downloadable because that was another game that, like, kind of got screwed in the development um, and it kept getting delayed. But, uh... And, and, and eventually they just put together what they had completed so far and, and that was released as as a downloadable game. Honestly, its development is not too different from Duke Nukem Forever's. Um, yeah, I want to check that out. That, that basically sounds like exactly the kind of thing I would find interesting. Shit! Bro! All right. Fuck you! Is he dead? He is not dead! You are way too fucking alive, buddy. Fuck you! Squish him! Fuck you, lizard! Cool. All right. Before... Oh, shit. That's not what I want. I'm just trying to get the ego boost. Normally, normally, okay. So one of my soldiers here died, which actually ruins a joke here. Oh, fuck. Okay, fucking OBS. Am I truly disconnected or is it just being shitty? It's back. Okay. Um, yeah, if if all the soldiers except Captain oh, Dylan, shit. if all the soldiers with you survive, then um, one of the soldiers walks up there and says, Okay, area clear! And then that gun flies up over the corner of the bridge and crushes him. It's a dark joke, but funny. Kind of how dark jokes really are, you know? Okay, let's, uh... Let's... Oh, shit. Okay, I just killed myself. That was fucking stupid. They're both similar, but you enjoyed it when it came out. It sounds like something I would really like. Take less damage to avoid being killed. Oh, fuck you, game. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, here we go. Area clear. There! Uh, it was actually worth it to die for that. And now... I am gonna go ahead and do this. Holy shit. shit. Ah, god damn it! The fucking exploding barrel! I didn't even see that. Hoping he would pick me up. Guess not. Shit. Die, fuckface.
ammo do I have for the Devastator? I have 69 shots. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, that's... Okay. That's easy. Oh, shit. Ah, god fucking damn. Okay. I gotta be careful now. Stop doing that. Shit. Don't. Oh, I hope that's enough to save me. Wow, that actually was. That's crazy. I was expecting way worse. Run, Tim. At least he's wearing a cloth on his unmentionables. Yeah, I know. I, I Honestly, I think Duke Nukem would be intimidated by any penis bigger than his own. Unless, unless this thing is like, you know, 20 feet tall and just has a shrimp dick. The loincloth is just for show. Oh my god, okay. Uh shit. Crap. Huh. Kill him! God damn. Stupid that that didn't hit him. Ooh. Yep, run, get it. Whoa, dude! If that had a hit, if that had hit him, that would have been hilarious. All right, let's rip his horn off. Uh, I'm stuck inside his body. What the fuck? Get him! That was a weird animation thing that just happened, but okay. Watch out, Tim. Be really fucking careful. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck! Alright. Area clear. Oh 
Okay, so let's cheese him from the outset. That'll be fine. A riot shield to protect yourself from a turret. That would have been awesome. That would have been absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The game from the 2001 trailer looks a lot better than this one. game is not as good as it could have been. That That is an argument you will not get from me. Oh. Alright. Time to beast fuck him. That's a, that's a hell of a line. Wham! Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Now. Get him! Shit! Okay, I'm lucky that they didn't fucking kill me right there. Shit. Do. Damn. I am trying my fucking best to not get killed here. Die, you sack of shit! Yeah! Fuck off. Do it, do it! Murder that son of a bitch. Ooh, right in the eye. Oh, what? You didn't like that? Here's something else you won't like. Hell yeah. And the Terminator robot enemy? Actually, you know what? The Terminator robot enemy does actually show up. So, we, I have a theory here. So, there is a DLC campaign for Duke Nukem Forever. It's not as well covered or exposed as the main game, uh, but it does exist. So, there is more of this game. Um, there's a DLC campaign called The Doctor Who Cloned Me. Uh, and it, uh, it does have that enemy type in it, actually. I am happy to say. Also, another thing I'm happy to say is that The Doctor Who Cloned Me the DLC campaign is fantastic. And it's not just me saying that. The Doctor Who Cloned Me was also reviewed very well as a sharp contrast to Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, the, the Doctor Who Cloned Me um, is uh, is held in, in higher regard than Duke Nukem Forever itself is. Um, and is, it's it's generally seen by fans and, and reviewers as being closer to what Duke Nukem Forever should have been. So, even though even though Duke Nukem never really recovered from Duke Nukem Forever's uh, negative public reception, the last bit of Duke Nukem Forever that was ever released was very well received. I'm happy for that. And furthermore, I'm definitely going to stream the Doctor Who cloned me after I finish this. I love that I can stand on the corpse. And that you can use the, the body as a way to like get up to these high areas if you want to. Can I, is there anything I can see on the other side here? No, there's not. 
but this game is cool. Aliens Colonial Marines Story DLC was also better than the main game. It must be a gearbox thing. Sorry, I'm just like always on the lookout for new ways I can like fuck with this game. Uh, just wait till you see what I can do with the fucking scissor lift. Huh? I'll take that. I'd buy this for a dollar. I don't even know what I picked up. Let's just go this way. General Graves is down in the generator room, Duke. You have to pass through the tunnels and into the power station to get there. But cool. Make it. Yes, I will. I'm Duke Nukem. I'm the best. If you get stuck, don't forget you can cheat by looking at FAQs. Let's up there. What the hell? To see what's interactive in the environment. Exactly, man. Yeah. No, I, I feel that on a spiritual level. Is there any... I've, I've never noticed that body up there. I have no projectile weapons right now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna decide what to what to go without at the moment. Is there a shotgun or something I can use? Oh shit. There is a shotgun. I'll use it. I'll take it. Good shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna take this barrel. Put that barrel right here. Was there another barrel somewhere? There is. It's right there. And it's on the other side of this thing. But I can't move. Damn it. Only there was like a third barrel here that I would be able to really do something. I don't see anything of the sort. Unless I can backtrack, which I cannot. Will I play Desert Bus? Uh, probably not, Baxter Bunny. The Desert Bus just doesn't the sound fun. Get in there and kill those things. You clear out the room, and I'll clear out the elevator. That'll take you down to the generator room where your general is. I ain't going out there till it's clear. N -n -n hey, now hold on. I can't go barging into a combat situation unawares. This dickhole. I don't have a gun. What the hell am I supposed to use? I don't know. Harsh language? Take the freeze ray. It's just a power tool, but Hank and I use it to deep freeze rats in the penstock tunnels all the time. I bet it worked just as good on those damn aliens. I need bullets, not ice cubes, jerk off. 
Oh, Duke! Maybe you can help talk some sense into these guys. I can't go in there without a gun. And there's just the two of us here with combat training, so we'll wait for backup, right? I am the backup. Uh, okay, Duke. Um, you take the freeze ray. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be better with it than me anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. I will be. You fucking wuss. Now let's see. What am I dropping here? Um. I don't really want to drop any weapons I have, but at the moment, I'll go ahead and drop the shotgun. With that thing. Last time Lawrence used it, he lost a pinky. Real dangerous. Could hurt somebody good. Didn't you tell me that before? Now we look like an ass in front of Duke Nukem. If you clear out that room, Duke, I'll get you to the elevator and down to the generator. All right. Well, I'm going to go down this way. Even though there's basically nothing I can get. Okay. A fucking 45? I don't want a 45. Fuck that thing. Nice aliens reference, yeah. Ah, shit. My teeth are really fucking sensitive right now. Oh. Jesus Christ. Mm. Alright, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll bring the shotgun with me through this door. Cool. I remember this fight. I'll do fine. These guys don't stand a chance. No, they don't. Fuck them up. Let's see what they look like. Awesome. Whoa! Oh, no, you don't. Let's recharge that ego. Awesome. Fuck you. Douche. Yeah, douche. Duke is using harsh language. And I think it's a little effective. I don't think on swine. Shit! Oh, okay. Was there somebody in this door? Oh yeah, okay. Ego boost by looking at the dirty calendar. Cool, oh shit, oh shit! And I died because I got trapped. Fuck. Ah. I fucked that up. Don't stand in chance. Next 
time. That's better. Are they gonna come in this way? Yeah. They are. Shit. Whoa! Fuck. Damn! Come on! Alright, there goes one. There goes two. Alright. Come towards me, fucker. Ah, oh, shit. Is he dead? No, he's not. Shit. Reload. Here we go. That was getting a little tricky there. shot left. Oh, what a moron. Whoa, my god. Ah. All right. Everybody? No, it's not. Somebody's still here. Whatever, I have a barrel, so I'll be fine. Please be everybody. Please. I don't think it is. I think it is. No, it's gonna be now, though. Fuck! Shit. It's drugs time. Where'd your friend go? All right, come on. Get him. Here we go. Sit down and shut up. Took a long time to kill them. What's in here? RPG. That's cool. So what do I have for my various guns? I have Ripper, Shrinker. Devastator is nearly empty. RPG. Not really feeling like continuing with the fucking freeze ray for now. Uh, but I do not feel like getting rid of the other stuff. So, enforcer gun is coming. Yeah, that EDF son of a bitch ran off somewhere, but don't worry, uh, we'll let you downstairs like we said. Follow me! Oh, this pig is just jiggling. Jiggly jiggly. Alright, here it is. Holy crap, you sure left a mess in here. Yeah, I did. Aren't you glad I did, though? Otherwise, you'd have more murderous aliens running around. All right.
There we go. I have to do this. Yeah, one more. I see. I see. Okay, hold on. God damn it. Yeah, there it is. There's no Duke expansion for this or a cleanup detail. That would be fun. That would be fun. I mean, there isn't, but there is a Shadow Warrior one, which is almost as good. the Devastator right now. Oh, shit. Okay, that was a little awkward. Who wants it? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I could have handled that one better. Fuck, sorry about that. Spending too much time agonizing, agonizing. Okay. Spending too much time agonizing over what weapons to use. What I should do is just shrink this guy, step on him. There we go. And then do the same thing to this guy. Neat. Oh nope. Cool. You're all going down, fuckers. Huh. Well, I don't think they're coming down this way. That's a lot of bombs. How dumb are they? They're moving every time they drop a bomb. Can they hurt themselves with them? God damn it. Okay. My approach here is stupid. I know this. 
I'm, I'm way too attached to the Devastator right now. I'm way too attached to the Devastator right now, and... Uh... I need to just get over it. Just get over the Devastator, Tim. Here's an idea! Oh, man. Come on! Jesus Christ. Go ahead and drop the Devastator. That's what you should do. Okay. Yeah! That's a good shot. Neat. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, he's gone. He's not. Now he is. Who else needs to go? You do. Fuck off. Okay. Awesome. I like that I can just fire the enforcer weapon in sort of like the general direction of things that are going on, and it'll just kill shit. Fuck. Dude. Fuck you. Squeal, piggy. Squeal. Come on, fucker. And he's gone. Sweet. Forcer gun doesn't suck. Kinda low on the fucking other guns. I actually think the Ripper is a better fit for indoors than the um, RPG, so let's go that way. Hmm. But yeah, Duke levels and Viscera cleanup would be really fun. Whoa! You fuckstick! Squeal harder next time. Get back here, fool! Yeah! Alright. Okay, we got beer. And what else do we have in here? Not much else. So, can I backtrack for the beer? I hope. Maybe? Oh... I don't think I can. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run. Okay. Oh no, the rats! Take that, the rat. Okay. That one's stuck. It's stupid. Now, what's this way? Ooh. Stuff. I like it. Including trip mines. I like trip mines. Hmm. Oh, shit. That's the dude that ran off. Sucks to be you. Not my idea of a good screw. That's because it's a bolt. It's not a screw, Duke. Anyway. But onwards with this Toy Story stuff. Dude, he, he definitely just got eviscerated by by those pig aliens, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. 
I think they pigged out on him. Ah, yes. This panel of 57. Snatch hatch. Oh, no, sorry. Snatch latch, it says. Because everything in this game, even the most mundane objects, have to be dirty. Oh, Baxter, Viscera Cleanup Detail is a game... Um, it, it is a first-person game, but it's not a shooter. Viscera Cleanup Detail is a game where you go through these environments. They look like industrial environments and other kinds of places where action has just happened. And so there's blood and shell casings and bodies and stuff all over the place. And in Viscera Cleanup Detail, your job is to clean it all up and get the place looking nice again. So think of it like a game where you go through... It's sort of like if you go through the action after a first-person shooter has been played, and you just tidy it all up. It's actually really relaxing. Here we go! There's a uh, promotional version of Viscera Cleanup Detail that ties in with Shadow Warrior uh, that you can actually play for free. So if you're curious about what it is, you can check it out on Steam and, and try the Shadow Warrior level. It's nice. Oh, hey, look. We found the Gearbox in the Gearbox game. think of, uh... Anybody ever seen The Great Mouse Detective? This part 100% makes me think of The Great Mouse Detective. Holly and I just rewatched that. Uh, it was the first time I'd seen that movie since I was a kid. I could, uh... Oh, damn. I'm trying to throw a mine through this. It's not working right. Damn. Yeah, that didn't work right either. You don't think you ever saw that part? Yeah. Or you don't think you ever saw that uh, movie? It's a good one. It's on Disney Plus right now if you have it. I recommend it. It's basically... I mean, it's like a Sherlock Holmes story if Sherlock Holmes was a rat. Here we go. You know what really grinds my gears? Duke one, gears nothing. Cute. Let's go. I know I deliver all sorts of uh, eye-rolling puns on this stream. And so, in that spirit, I greatly appreciate the stupidity of that joke. Alright, let's climb. The Orville is on Disney+, Plus. I didn't know that. I've been wanting to check out the Orville. I... I had no idea I could... What? 
You have seen the Rescuers Down Under. I like the animation in the Rescuers, Rescuers Down Under a lot. It, uh, it, it really does... Like, the quality of animation in that movie feels like The Lion King before The Lion King. It's funny thinking about how much time actually passed between, you know, the release of the original Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under. Okay, I want that gun, damn it. There we go! See, that's one of those areas of the game that I really appreciate. It rewards you for just fucking around and trying to find a way up. Now, let's see. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to use this in just a second. Yeah. Let's press the button. While we're waiting for the elevator, we're about to get into a big fucking fight. You little shithead. Real shit. Yeah, Duke, you tell him. Fucking Duke Nukem stole my line. I can't even be mad. Shit. Eat it. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. Alright. Oh, that's weird. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Fuck. It was the laser! Shit. Oh, this is, this is rough. Damn! God. Ooh! Don't fucking... Ah, uh, he stomped me, that son of a bitch. Yeah, I, I do like Oliver and Company. I've, I've seen that one before, too. Um... One of the things that is interesting to me about the animation in Oliver and Company is that excuse me they actually there was actually a surprising amount of uh, computer graphics in Oliver and Company but they traced over it um, but there's lots of parts of that movie that are um, the shots were achieved by uh, by tracing over uh, uh, 3D renders. Like a lot of the a lot of the scenes with cars and stuff, you'll really notice it with the cars. <sighs> All right, let's try this again without the getting killed stuff. Yeah, gross. Yeah. You've been aborted. Oh shit. That's, shit. that's a lot of these guys in a row. Shit. Oh! Okay, okay. Fuck! You gotta watch it again? Yeah, like... You know the, the, the gangster? The guy with the cigar and the... I can't remember if he wears shades or, or whatever, but... I might just be adding features of Duke Nukem to the bad guy in my head. But, like, the... Pay attention to, like, the first scene where you see him, where he pulls up in the car. That's 100% uh, a CG scene that's been tra that's been hand-traced over uh, by uh, traditional animators. Really clever stuff. Alright, well, fuck. This 
This is this is rough. Run, Tim. Shit. fine, he just destroyed the light. That's really bad. Keep, keep bringing him this way. Keep bringing him this way. That way you can get the shotgun! Not close enough to get it. Fuck. I want it! Fuck off! nerve-wracking, because it's just a normal enemy, but it's, like, a tough normal enemy. And we're fucking itty-bitty at the moment. Oh, shit. I can't shrink you, can I? No, I fucking can't. I wish I could. Fuck you. Fuck. over this giant corpse on the fucking floor. Is he dead? Good. About fucking time. Pretty good. Hilarious. You're on the fifth episode now. Yeah, I had another friend of mine that also, um, that also recommended that. So, now that I got, like, two friends telling me I need to check this out, I'm starting to think I really need to. Yo, he broke the fucking table. If I hadn't gotten that enforcer gun before, there's no way I would have gotten it now. Woof. That got dicey. And I seem to be out of ammo for the Ripper, so I might as well take the Colt. Can I... Can I do anything with this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, wait. Hold on. But I can climb the trash. Can I climb the trash? Maybe I can't. Please let me climb the trash? God damn it. Fucking game. What about the mop bucket? Can I move that? Uh, yeah, I actually... Oh! Yeah, no, that's... Okay. No, that's how, uh, that's how I'll get over there. Sorry, I'm just trying to climb the shelf as best I can, and I think that the way to do that is by pushing the mop bucket this way. Yeah. Certainly. That's it. Okay, so... Oh, I can't... I can't actually get in there. Is that what I am to understand? Duke Nukem, are you telling me that I can't do this? Well, that's just great. Fine. Kenny, what's up? As a Trekkie, it's great. Then I'll definitely appreciate it. I mean, I, I love... I love Star Trek. I tend to like parodies of Star Trek for the most part. Galaxy Quest is a... pretty constant favorite. I like going back to that. You're not even into Star Trek that much and, and quite enjoy it. Okay. See, okay... What I've heard about Orville from my other friend is that, yes, it is, like, a comedy Star Trek, 
but it's also very much like just straight Star Trek. Like, the stories that happen in the Orville are very much just like, you know, true Star Trek stories. In terms of, like, how they work and the themes they play with and stuff. So I, I really do want to check it out. Exactly, okay. Now, the, the more I hear about it, the more, I, the more interested I am. Open the door, damn it. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just really can't tell by looking at it that this is a comedy game. a lot of mutilation and death going on. Movie. The worst part is when Seth tells jokes. Okay. You want the Kermit the Frog that sits on his desk. <laughs> Where am I going? Break the damn glass, Duke! Yeah, there we go. There was another... Yeah, I threw that away real quick. I'm not throwing up the, the Jesus tag uh, all the time. It's a lot of effort to do that. Yeah, I'll take the Ripper. I'll take the Ripper over the Colt, like, any day. If I have ammo for the Ripper... Oh, hello. Fresh hardware. That's a Hollow Duke? Ooh. Yeah, okay, hold on. I should have tried to see if I could, like, nudge that box outside. But I don't think I can backtrack once I go past this door. Oh, no, wait. I, I think I actually can. not It's if I die. If I die, it checkpoints me after the door, and then I can't go back. That's what it is. Because the door closes. So I have to make sure that whatever I do, I don't fucking die. Yeah, okay. I got it figured out. You'll know what I mean if I watch it. Okay. Checkpoint saved. Yeah. Okay. So I need to, I need to absolutely make sure I don't die. Okay. Got that. Skipped a, a part of the level already. <laughs> What's in here? Beer! Beer is here. That's good. Time to... Time to swim over here. Past a, a part of the fight. And I'll go back if I absolutely have to. And do I? I do. Good. That's what I was hoping. I was hoping that I had this exact gun. Alright. We're about to get some fights here, folks. It's gonna be great. Alright. Shit. Alright, get off the goddamn gun. Wow, he threw that one really well. Asshole. Damn! Okay, that's bad. Let's get you off the gun. 
cool. I would like to have this back now. They closed the fucking door on me. That's bullshit. Shit. You think this is the real dude? It is. All right. This is where I like to go to cheese these guys. Shoot them through the chain link fence. They can't do shit. They'll try to hit you with their mind blasts. And they can't. Of course, there's also not much that I could do to hit them from here, but... That's fine. I should have saved the Hollow Duke now that I think about it. It would have been useful in a minute. You'll see what I'm up against when it happens. Ah! Sorry, like, in my experimentation, I have found a fuck ton of exploits in this game. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run out of ammo for this thing. Ah, shit. That's fine. There goes one. Neat. Ah, you dicks. Fine. I'll go... Wait. No, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll swim. I'll see if they follow me through the water. I don't think they will, actually. No, it looks like their mind blasts hit the surface and... No, they don't hit the surface and disappear. I might be fucked. Oh, oh God. Yeah, that's actually looking really bad. No, I can dodge vertically pretty far. That's good to know. All right. Huh. Still, doesn't... All right, we're good. We're reconnected. Sorry, Canadian duck. Internet doing bad shit again. Yes! Uh, or no, sorry, this is not the level with wall boobs. That was way earlier in the game. The, the wall boobs level... It's weird, because the wall boobs are one of the more famous parts of this game, but the level that they're in is, like, the worst part of the game. I, I just, I detest the hive. Oh shit, hi. This fucker is way too close to me. You dead? Oh, you're dead. You come closer, dick. Oh, he's gonna. And then he's gonna run away like a little punk. You thought that's why I was skipping some of the fights? Oh, no, no, not at all. If, if I had to go through a section with wall boobs, I would just throw up the, the Jesus picture again. Yeah, I'm gonna go back for more pipe bombs. Oh, there's ripper ammo over here. When the fuck was there ever ripper ammo over here? Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to go get the next uh, couple of pipe bombs, and then I'll be, I'll be good. Oh no, I seem to have gotten all the pipe bombs. Never mind. I'm never sure that there were some back here. I hate being mistaken.
damn it. Well, shit. Ugh. Yeah, okay, fine. Here goes another one. Enough of the brain blasts, you fucking square. Okay. Shit. Okay. Oh god, okay. Sorry, I'm like really nervous around this boss. Because he's kind of a bastard. Give me that. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, he's worse later, though. This is a guy you have to fight in a few different parts. Shit. Fuck! Ah. Ah. Fucking shit. Motherfucker. Get him. I don't want to get hit three times with this shit. Alright. Unintuitively, the best strategy for beating him is to constantly jump off the turret. And he's dead! Okay. Well, he's dead for now. Okay. Oh yeah, raise the door. Oh shit. Oh my god! It got me! It got me! Well, you're dead. Let's go in there. All right. Thanks, Jesus. No problem, bro. Jesus, ow, my ear! Good old Ego Raptor. What a nice guy. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Time to move past all these mutilated, butchered corpses in this comedy game. And, uh, find... Oh, there's the freeze ray. Do I want this right now? Well, I want it more than I want this rocket launcher that has no ammo, so yes. Yes, I do. And now it's time for the forklift. I love the forklift. I know how to climb up. Yes. Chief died of a heart attack, too. I don't know what the hell is going on. 
Yo, that was like a bullet wound to me! Ah, oh, shit, and I... That was... Awful on my part. Ah, don't forget to run away from explosions. Thanks, Duke Nukem. I appreciate that. Ah, drop the this. Drop the this. Lower the forklift. Well, I wonder. Here's something I've never tried before. Can I raise the forklift and then raise the lift back up? And if so, does that mean that I can raise this thing higher? Huh. Can I exploit that? Ooh, maybe I can. Ooh. Oh, but there's that. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't really do much. Shit. I was really hoping I could use that as, like, a way to get to some impossible area. Getting GTA San Andreas vibes here, yes. The forklift is great. I love the forklift. Die, fucker! Boom! Alright. And, uh... I'd buy this yeah, I'll for take a that. Rather nicely, you're supposed to go down that hallway, but you can use the forklift to get up onto this bridge as well. And it helps you get to... Yeah, you can use the forklift to get up here. And there's goodies up here! So the game rewards you for fucking around a bit. I like it. I kind of wish it rewarded you more often for, like, fucking around, but hey, it's, it's good. Sometimes I just want to stand on objects that I wasn't ex expected to stand on. That's all I really want out of it. Anyway. Bye, piggy! Ah, shit. Come closer, fools. Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Shit, he threw a bomb at me. Fuck him. And he blew up his friend. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't dig shit! This one. Where'd you go? Oh, they're all dead. Oh, no, they're not. You're not dead. You're very much alive. You follow me on Instagram? Okay. Oh, you're talking about from the from the new account. From the account that you just right, bought. Time to quit forking around. Whoops. Gotcha. I'll check it out, man. I will check it out. Let's see. Like, okay. These little walkways up here, you actually can get up there. There's no reward for doing that, but you can. I'm gonna show you how. You just really drive into the wall. And then you jump out before the forklift has a chance to adjust itself. Whoops. Ah, come on, Tim. Ah. This is, of course, the part where I have trouble climbing. Because why wouldn't I? 
Every time I ever say, like, oh, yeah, this is easy is when I start having problems. Yeah, that's... There we go. Maybe I should just... I'll go this side. Break the damn thing. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that ought to make it easier. I thought. Get out! Him! to be like some way up the wall. Oh, that's funny. Your homie Ryder guns down soldiers and loses health while he's at it. Ah! Damn. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back. It's not as bad as the remote control plane mission. Yeah, I'm not familiar enough with uh, GTA to really know that mission. Hopefully, that gives me enough. Yeah, that gives me enough room. Okay. God, that's finicky. Alright, let's try this jump one more time. Good, yeah. And that's how you get up here. Success. Of course, the doors are locked. They don't lead anywhere. But this would have been a cool place to put a secret. But alas, you can't put any secrets. Or you can't. What am I saying? Alas, there are no secrets up there. They didn't put any there. What am I looking for now? Ah! This room. Yeah, I'm dropping the freeze right now. <laughs> okay, I know where I am. So I have to restore power to this room in order to use the forklift to get out those doors up there. What the fuck is this? That's a that's an RPG. And there is a fucking railgun in here. I'm gonna drop this for the railgun. Uh, I wish I had a hollow duke. That would really be useful right now. I mean, you get a hollow duke right in here, but like having one that I could having two would be really, really great right here. Time to bring the pain. I got one. Yeah, there's there's my steroids. Okay, I'll go here real quick. What's back here? Yeah, more Bombs. equipment means more ass kicking. A 45? I don't need a fucking 45. But here's what I do need. I need to plant some bombs. So let's do it. One here. And one here. All right, let's go. Let's start this fight. GTA is not first person. Um, GTA 5 you can play in first person. Yeah, 
You're stuck on Duke 3D in the third mission. Is the third mission the one where you begin in the electric chair? I think that's the one where you begin in the electric chair. the one where you start in the electric chair. Okay. Um, have you been able to find... Oh, let's see. Have you been able to find the, um... Let's see. I'm guessing you've probably gotten out of the electric chair. You've probably killed everybody that was, like, in the observation room. What, like, there to watch the execution. You probably killed them. Um... You go out into the hallway, the wall explodes, there's those two, like, gear turbines. You jump up those, kill everybody in there, you get one of the key cards. That's the blue key card. Okay. Then you go back out, you take the blue key card, it unlocks the next area. Uh, in the next area, there's the big room in the middle, and down below you is a door that's locked, and you need the yellow key card to get in there. Okay, so to get the yellow key card, you have to go back out into the hallway, go up the ramp, there's gonna be a middle, sorry, there's gonna be a room with a yellow key card in it. When you pick up the yellow key card, there's going to be explosives. There's going to be lasers filling the room. All right? If you survive that, if you survive that, you can go back downstairs into the big room, uh, unlock the door with the yellow key card, go through it, and then you're outside, right? When you get outside... And there's, like, the four turrets. The, the four uh, turrets that are shooting at you. Uh, in the outside area, that's where the red key card is. The red key card is... It's just sitting on the ground all the way to the left. It's really easy to miss it because it just looks like shotgun ammo if you're not paying attention. But when you... Yeah, when you get outside... Go to the left. You'll find the red key card. And when you get the red key card, go back into the hall. Go back into the, the room that you went through. So go back through the door you unlocked with the yellow card. Um, and there's going to be two red doors. One kind of on either side of the room. Um, I think here. If I'm remembering it right, if you open up the red doors, then you can unlock the ramps upstairs with the red key card, I think. But if, if I'm remembering it right, the biggest problem with that level is usually uh, is usually not finding the red card. Lots of trip mines also in the church is a Doom reference. Yeah, yeah, that's one Doom Space Marine. But yeah, so when you get the yellow key card, after you get the yellow key card, go outside. When you go outside, just go left, then you'll find the red key card. Go back into the big room, and you'll find the, uh, you'll find the two doors on either side. You know how there's that walkway above you in the middle of the room? The doors I'm talking about that you need the red card for, those doors are on, uh, the ground on either side of that walkway. 
I need Twitch. Nah, I don't need Twitch. I've got YouTube. I actually do have a Twitch channel, but I, I haven't used it in like two years. No, I, I don't stream on Twitch because, like, I can stream here. And also, the other reason is money. Um, if... Uh, the reason that... The reason that I stream here is because I do actually make ad revenue here, and I can make chat revenue here. But my Twitch account isn't enabled for that, and it would take me a long time to get it there. So, like, I... I don't see the point in trying to do Twitch if, like, it's gonna take me longer to do what I can already do here. Does that make sense? You have Twitch? Twitch is great. If you're just starting out, Twitch is better to start with than YouTube is. I, I fully believe that. The reason I don't do Twitch is because I wasn't just starting out. Um, I already had all the subscribers on YouTube. Um, so it would have it would have taken me longer to get monetized on Twitch. Uh, especially considering that I already, like, was close to getting monetized on YouTube anyway. In fact, I've been monetized before, they just changed it. You stream on Twitch and YouTube. I kind of like keeping myself on YouTube, just because it's easier for me to keep track of what I'm doing. And I already know the people on YouTube here. You have, uh, six followers on Twitch? Message me, message me on Instagram and you'll have seven. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna activate the Hollow Duke in just a second. Alright. And with Hollow Duke! Give me all your aggro. I love that. Cool. All right. Drive! Damn it! Oh shit! They're starting to aim at me. Jump! Jump, you fool! Oh god! All right. Time for me to get drunk and try to climb a forklift. You scream no mercy. It sucked, what do you mean? Like, did the stream go badly? Okay, kill him! Yeah! Awesome! God bless getting drunk in video games. This is the only game I've ever played where getting drunk gives you a combat advantage. Pork chop sandwiches. Okay. The stream went very badly. I'm sorry, dude. Alright, let's go get the companion barrel, because this game came out after Portal. It's just so wholesome. Now let's see. Where's... Where's the damn pig I'm trying to snipe? And other sentences that only make sense in Duke Nukem games. Ah, come on, fucker. Where's the Ripper? There it is. I do have a shotgun, right? Yes, I do. Well, here's what's gonna... I could have sworn he just killed himself. Is he dead? I think he is. Ah! He's not dead enough. Whoa! Fuck this! Suck it down. Where'd he go? You fuck stick! Ah! Got him with the back blast though. Ah shit! Got me with the back blast. That was dumb. Oh, he didn't like that, though. Oh, 
Okay, this checkpoint has gone really well. Someone's still over there. I see him moving around. Oh, there he is. Why are you stuck in the floor, you fucking weirdo? I'm gonna take cover behind your dead friend because this game is amazing. Yes! Oh, don't die, though. That would be bad. Okay. Let's get him. I think he just spawned in weird. There's more where that came from. Fuck! Oh, shit, that's a big dude. All right. Let's go get the companion barrel now. Oh, hi. Yeah, no, fuck off. Shit! Don't you kill me! Uh-uh. Not allowed. Vegas, and I say kill them all. Try to jump towards me, fool. Keep trying. Oh! Oh, you're getting executed, fucker. Would I try out WWF Attitude for the PS1? If I had it, I would. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Hmm. Alright, I'm taking the companion barrel now. I like that fight. I like that fight a lot. There's just a lot of different ways to approach it. Like, you could just, you know, duck around and handle the whole fight that way, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, so if you put the if you put this heart barrel over here, you end up uh, unlocking this door. There used to be a message that would come up, a text message on screen that says, Have some cake, but for some reason that message is gone. Hmm. Anywho, uh, do I want the Devastator right now? I think I do. Let me think here. I definitely want the Devastator right now. Do I have the Shrink Ray? I have the Shrink Ray, the Devastator, the Rocket Launcher. Shrink Ray. Ripper. Right? Yeah. Okay, Ripper. Devastator. Shrink Ray. Rocket Launcher. Okay, there's a, there's a combat sequence coming up, and I'm trying to make sure that I'm prepared for it. It's... It's the rest of that fight against the giant Octobrain that I fought outside. And I want to make sure that I kill that son of a bitch. It's kind of a bastard of a fight. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the fight that's coming up. Okay. I'll get through it. Is there anything over here I can grab? Nope. I really wish this game didn't have regenerating health. Welcome to the Hoover Dam! Alright. Oh, get ready for some cringy delivery. Duke! Thank God Almighty you're here. The President still hasn't issued official orders to retaliate or defend against the attack. I'd like to blame it on the Cycloid Emperor meddling with his brain. But in truth, I think the simple stress of the invasion has pushed him over the edge. He's lost all grasp on reality. 
That's the bad news. The good news is our engineers believe if you can shut off all power to the dam, the portal will close for good. The EDF hasn't been able to get deep enough past the infestation, but I believe you can. America is counting on you. America, fuck yeah. Okay, Duke. Okay. Um, any plans to stream a GTA game? I... So, here's the thing. Probably at some point. I just don't know when. I like it. I've thought about starting GTA, uh, 3 specifically several times. It's just that every time I start think... Every time I feel like getting ready to stream a GTA game, a different game pops in my head. So it's like... So like, yes? But I just... I don't know, it's like other stuff for me keeps taking my interest. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, I, at some point, at some point just I'm going to. I just have no idea when. Like, I don't stream weird shit on purpose. I just stream weird shit because weird shit is what's always on my mind. And so what it comes down to is, like, you know, I... What it comes down to is, um... I, I don't I don't think about Grand Theft Auto that much. It is really what it is. And part of that is part of that is because Grand Theft Auto is so popular. And it's I'm like it's so it's weird because I'm not against popular things. But for some reason I just can't pay attention to popular I'm things. Gonna ninja this. I, I have trouble with that. I hate those things so much. Nope, you gotta die! GTA San Andreas is a hard game. I've heard. I've heard. I have San Andreas. I have I have three San Andreas. Actually I have I have one, two, three, um four uh four San Andreas and five. I think the only one I don't have is London. Um, it's not like one of these days. But it, it, it might be a long time before I get around to it, because it's just... It's just not on my mind enough. You're spent. Instead, I play games everyone hates, like Duke Nukem. Oh god, did I just kill my microphone? No, I didn't. Smacked it pretty hard, though. Gotta be careful. That was right in the USB port. Oh. But it's like, I know that I... I know that I... I know that I enjoy GTA's core gameplay. Uh, and I've played lots of games that kind of are GTA-like. But for some reason, I just can't... I can't... Like, GTA doesn't hold my interest oh, very long. Hey there! You that fancy lad they sent to clean the place up. Uh, it, I don't know why that is. Chemicals in here either. Them it's things long. Screw the okay. aesthetics all to hell. Well then, hop on my train here and I'll swing you over to the other side. Be careful, though. Long way down, right? <laughs> Wouldn't blame me if I'm turned off because it's long. You know, that's, that's fine. I don't really mind long games, it's... Hang on tight there, boy. Hang on this 
And I, I really should, like, just just to do it, I should. Oh, we're about to have a long fight. Yeah, here we go. Fuck! Devastator time. Whoa. I like hearing Duke quoting Big Trouble in Little China. I like singing show tunes. I like singing show tunes too! Oh my gosh! This guy is me! I only want to say If there is a way Take this cop away from me I don't want to taste its poison Feel it burn me I have changed I'm not as sure as when we started Then I was inspired Now I am sad and tired Listen Surely I've exceeded expectations Tried for three years Seems like thirty Could you ask as much from any other man? But if I die See the saga through and do the things you ask of me Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me, nail me to their tree I wanna know, I wanna know, my god I wanna know, I wanna know, my god I'd have to see, I'd have to see, my god I'd have to see, I'd have to see, my god If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? I have to know, I have to know, my lord I have to know, I have to know, my lord Why should I die? Oh, why should I die? Can you show me now that I would not be killed in vain? Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Oh, show me there's a reason for your wanting me to die. You're far too keen on where and how. You're not so hot on why. All right, I'll die. Just watch me die on this crane. See how I die, see how I die! I'm good. No, I've uh, actually never done theater. Then I was I'd buy this for a dollar. No. I'm sad and tired. I will drink your cup of poison. Nail me to your cross and break me. Bleed me, beat me, kill me, take me now. Before I change my mind. Now. Before I change my mind. No, I've never done theater. I just really like Jesus Christ Superstar and The Phantom of the Opera. And when I say that, all the theater nerds are just like... <laughs> lowbrow stuff, entry-level stuff. And it's like, that's fine. I never said I wasn't a fucking simpleton. If you, if you didn't think I was aware that I'm stupid and have shit taste, let me, remi let me remind you all what game I'm fucking playing. I'm gonna need Dude. This. Oh my gosh. 
That man just said he'll donkey punch you in the blow hole. In That's a sushi. weird line. I don't understand what he's on about. Okay, uh... Shrink ray time. Fuck! Okay. Cool! Two of them dead. Ow! Holy shit! Oh, okay, never mind. This guy fucking throws bombs back at you. What a bastard. You legit like the movie Prometheus. I need to see that. Prometheus is one of those things where, like, half the people that I've talked to about it love it. Half the people I've talked to about it hate it. I haven't seen it, but, like... Usually when things are divisive, I end up being on the side of liking it. Because I find that things are divisive are usually divisive because they're doing something interesting and, um, unexpected. Whoa! Fuck. Fuck! Just gave you the finger. Fuck! I am, Duke. I am A number one. Ah! Okay, one and two. Those are the ones I'm going to be using. What is three? No? Okay. One, two, and four are the keys I need to remember. Alright. Shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Kill him? Die, you fucking idiot. Okay. That worked. By the way, thank you for what you said about my voice. That makes me feel quite good. Brain. No, there's not. And ow. That fucker threw an entire whatever that was at me. Alright. Looks like I could just aim at this kind of level. And his brain his brain blasts are gonna keep getting hit by the fucking devastator. Well, except now they won't. brain just exploded. And so did your other brain. Ah, damn. Okay, gotta put this thing out of its misery. Dare say it has a Star Trek movie vibe almost. That sounds right up You're my alley. The only one, King. You fuck. So I loved uh, Alien. Well, there you go, all 
set then. They made a hell of a mess though. Should have done it myself. I love this guy. I wish you were in this game more. Ah, that was cool. Missing any ego boosts. Oh, game, yeah, I'm bringing sexy back. There's a pipe bomb. There's no poo in these toilets. Oh, well. Ah, uh, much better. Yeah, I don't like the, the gun model they did for the Devastator in this game. Look at my ass. Do it now. <laughs> That's a good line, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, it did. Hold up. Let me do that real quick. Laptop cam properties. Deactivate, activate. All right. Um, I will be right back in just a second, folks. Hold on. I'm going to do one quick thing. Ah. Oop, I'll put it this way. Back. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Hmm. Let us continue. I'm trying to think with the Octa King fight now decided. <laughs> oh shit. This game doesn't have too much further to go. Whoa! Here to grab? Nope. Oh, there's the wall boobs. Fuck it. Hmm. Strange silicone based life form. There we go. Wall boobs. It had to happen sometime. Uh. I want the real gun right now. I think I want the real gun more than I want the rocket to propel grenade. Yeah, especially since I have the fucking, um, Devastator right now. I'm good. Hmm. We'll go this way. Ah, yes. The Turbine Room. Right. 
Wait. Let's drink a crap ton of cola. Crush. I think it'd be even funnier if he, uh, crushed the soda, like, against his head when he did that. Oh, now let's see. Oh, I'm definitely gonna drop the, um, ripper for the shotgun right now. I feel like having the, um, railgun does everything I would need the ripper to do. Was that the cult reticle I just saw for a second there? What the fuck? I could have sworn it was. I don't know why. Huh. Weird. Wham. It's really important that Duke drink as much soda as possible. This guy, fuck balls of steel. This guy's got kidneys of steel. All right. Well, guess you don't want to touch that. Let's, uh... But you have to to cross. So let's destroy it. Duke is gas powered, yeah. Yeah, he would have to be. Alright. Push two more in. That'll destroy it. Um. Now that's interesting. Looks like something I should be able to fucking climb. But I cannot. Can't go there either, damn. I wonder. Awesome. He's such a goofball. Alright. Hmm. I'll take that. Anything over here I can use? No, there is not. Checkpoint, please. Oh, shit. Fuck that. Well, there, there goes all the enemies then in that checkpoint. Now, what do I do here? Stop it! Yeah, I am squishing them. <laughs> now, what am I doing here? Fresh hardware. Yeah, I don't know what I just picked up. Oh, wait. This? What is this? I seem to remember it being like the captain laser or something. No, it's the freeze ray. I don't want the freeze ray right now. I'm fine without it. There we go.
fuck? I made art. Um. Oh, there's two of these? Didn't realize that. All right, Duke. Oh, that's where I go. Come on, let me up. You fool. Can I go this way? I cannot. Then up we go. Up and at them. No, no, no! The line is up and at them! Up and at them. No! Space. Please continue. This is gonna fuck up my hair. Oh, that's the Captain Laser. That's why I was getting the things confused. Mm. Oh, well. This is gonna be a little bit awkward. No, it's not. I'll be fine. I don't need the Captain Laser. I'm good. <gasps> The goggles, they do nothing. <sighs> All right. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Can I climb that? I don't think I actually can. Yeah, I can't. That's just there to, to breathe. annoys me because this part's just awkward. You want to outrun these uh, little alien babies if you can. Shit. Yeah, okay. But they will swarm you if they all catch up at once. And there's really no way to recover if they do. I think I'm good. I think I got them this time. Hmm. Oh, shit. Now we're fine. Don't panic so much, Tim. Okay, we're good. Go on, Mason, drink the water. Oh, yes! That's one for anyone who had an internet connection in the early 2000s. Uh. Let's see. Good old Don Hertzfeld. <laughs> I am the Lizard Queen. Wait, is that a Sim is that a Simpsons Ruby. reference too? Oh god, my fucking eyes. Okay. Now we're good. I just gotta jump down this way. Alright. And cool. One rock 
shit. They killed the lights in this whole area. Those fuckers. Now. Should you send me a clip? Yes, you should. But I don't I don't remember this. What a mess. Mm. Oh fuck. God damn. My balls. Damn it, more face. dick monsters. That's not what I want. Dick monsters is never what you want. Fuck. Ah! Jesus. I really wish they would stop with the, like, the goo attack. So fucking gross. Die, please. Yeah. Woo! 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 No! Get away from me! Uncool, man. Oh. Okay. I like how what protected me was the the remnants of that door. need the shrink ray again, I think. Yep, probably. Ah, shit. Yeah, um... Oh, fuck it. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. No match for good old substance abuse. Alright. It's still dark in here. I like that whooshing effect. No, you die. Get off the wall. Hmm. There was a something over here. Oh, it's another Hollow Duke. Okay. Damn, I could have used a Hollow Duke in that fight if I remember that that was there. But I didn't, so I don't get to use the, the fun toy. What did I use up while I was doing that? Nothing. I'm good on ammo for, like, everything, so... Can I take the, the thing? Nope, I can't. That's a shame. Ah, yes, here we go. Moving along. That's what it is. The default aim reticle shows up. The cult aim reticle shows up when you're just carrying objects. Now I understand. Oh man, I lost my barrel. Hmm. I didn't get him with that. That's uh, that's satisfying. Oh shit! Crap! Fuck you! Up close and personal. Damn it! I wasted a mine. But then I immediately replaced it. Okay, so it works out. Ah. Uh. Um... Wham. Oh, there they are fighting the Cycloid Emperor. And let me guess, he's gonna kill them. Horribly. Can I 
I go in there? I don't think I can. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, I get to do the most Duke Nukem thing ever right in here. Where's the cigar? There's the cigar right there. Okay. All right. This right here, for my money... If you do it this way specifically, is the most Duke Nukem moment in the game. And maybe in the history of all Duke Nukem. Step one, get drunk. Step two, fucking grab the cigar. Step three, go in there with the Devastator and just go fucking nuts. They can't do fucking shit. Oh, I might die, though. I did die. Never mind. You gotta... The trick is to not die. That's where I... That's the mistake I made. Oops. Sorry. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, got everything else. Yes, I do. Okay, beer. Cigar. Murderous rampage. Okay, okay, yep, shit, I died again. Ah. Sorry, it's really important to me that I do this properly. Otherwise, I just won't be happy with myself. That's right, I'm doing this on Damn I'm Good. That's why this isn't going as smoothly. Okay. No, I got it. I got it. Uh, you know what? If I hollow duked, it would be better, actually. Okay, so let's do this. Beer. Cigar. Murderous Rampage. Shoot everybody with shotguns. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Alright, I'm happy with the outcome at this point. Although the fight's not over. Oh, I'm not happy with the outcome. Never mind, I changed it. I changed my mind. Fuck. When I did the uh, 100 Xbox 360 games uh, in 10 minutes video, uh, the clip that I chose for that, for Duke Nukem Forever, was I, I had a shotgun in my hand, and it was right here at this checkpoint. It was right here at this checkpoint, and I'd cleared the boxes out of the way, and I just shoved a cigar in my mouth, went in there, and started shooting a pig. Uh, did it post in chat? No, it didn't post in chat. Um, you're probably gonna have to send it to my Instagram, um, cause that's the only, that's the only way that a link is gonna send. Um, YouTube automatically doesn't do links in chat unless, uh, unless mods. Um, so like only mods and I can do that. Whoops. I'm gonna, hmm. I, I, I need to fucking get drunk. 
But it'll You're it'll my boy, blue. Oh, shit. Okay. Get him! Get him! Alright. And where's that fucking lizard fucker? Come here, you dumbass. Yeah, fuck you, punk. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. You little shit! Are you dead? You're not dead. Where are you? I can fucking hear him. Oh no, he's just dead as shit. Never mind. Send it to the Instagram. Okay, thanks, man. And I will check it out. I will check it out after the stream. Ooh. This goes this way. Awesome. Actually, can I move this that way? Uh, no, not really. Maybe? I don't know. No, I can't. Damn it. Okay. Let's go this way, Jim. So I'm gonna go in there, and it'll give me another beer. That's one good thing. I have to remember, because there are going to be two Assault Commanders out here. And I need to not use the Shrink Ray on them, no matter what I do. Oh, this guy's fucking dead. I guess pigs do fly. Good job, Duke. Yeah. Um. Ah, oh, come on. Will you jump down? God damn it. Duke, you broke the computer. Alright, grabbing another beer. Don't touch my beer or I'll kick your Monty Python reference. Yeah. Hey, John. This is Carl from Section 12. I am not working in that goddamn damn anymore, damn it. Five damn years and that hole is enough. I got a new job in Vegas, at Duke's Casino, doing security. We should be a hundred times safer than working in that hellhole you call a workplace. Last week, when I almost got my head smashed in by that jackass Harold, thinking it's funny to stack barrels anywhere he chooses. Anyway, see you jerks later. Not if I see you first. You mean this Herald? This Herald that just wants to stack barrels and that's all he wants to do? Alright. He sounds... Damn, he sounds damn mad. He sure damn does. Let's see. Uh, I can't really think of anything that I would rather drop. Uh, and I... Wait, do I have the shotgun? I do. Yeah. Eh, the weapons I have are good. Okay. I need to get the scissor lift. Alright. I will get the scissor lift. Okay. Oh shit, there it is. Ouch. Come here, guys. Boom! Take that, every enemy that poured out that door. Ah, love it. Okay. Now this is a line that I don't understand. I, I've been trying to figure this one out for years, and I don't understand what Duke is on about. Listen to this. Sucks. He just says this thing sucks, and I don't know why. Like, 
Why are you saying this thing sucks? Do you disapprove of scissor lifts? What's happening, dude? I don't understand the inner workings of your of your strange mind. Please enlighten me. What is your issue with the scissor lift? I don't get it. Oh well. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Anyway. I will just take this over here and I will get the other one. Alright. And there is a... I think it's... I think it is a shrink ray over here. Yeah, it is. So that, that's good, I guess. is on the fucking barrel. Oh, nothing. It's just the... It's just a warning sign. Okay. I guess he doesn't enjoy scissorless. I guess not. I. It's, it's just... It's a weird remark. He just... It comes from nowhere. Just a few more to go. Like, was it a line they recorded for some other part of the game, and then that part was cut, and they were just like, but we have this Duke Nukem line, so we need to cram it in somewhere. Okay, we can't do this fight yet. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Oh my fucking god! Wow! I died so fast. What the fuck was that? That's weird. Damn. Shit. Well, that's, that's fucking annoying. Great. Great. That's a long-ass checkpoint, man. Uh, gotta let everybody over this thing. Let's try that again. At least this time I don't have to, like, stop and smell the flowers. This thing sucks. I still don't understand you, dude. You're weird. I'm gonna go get the uh, shrinker ammo, even though I'm gonna leave the Assault Captain alive. There is a weird glitch that you can do with a scissor lift and Assault Captain uh, corpses. And I'm kind of excited to show it off. Okay. Actually, maybe what I should do. Just a few that is what go. I should do. Hold on. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna block that next checkpoint with the scissor lift. So I can control where my enemies go. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe they can't even... Dude, it'd be so cool if they couldn't even get out. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, let's see. Give them, like, barely any wiggle room. <laughs> Now let's see what the fuck we can do. <sighs> Come on. 
Come on. Hurry up. Oh shit, they straight up moved this thing. Okay, well, fuck. Uh, Hollow Duke time. You think this is the real Duke? It is. Yeah, okay. You're dead. Where's your fucking friend? Got him. Awesome. Let's get them too. Fuck them. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. shit. With a gun. Ooh! Alright, not bad. Total recall reference, yeah. Oh, he dropped the thing. Why did he do that? You know, I'm not complaining, I'm glad he did. Oh, alright. Okay, now. Um, here's where we get... Do I have the enforcer gun? Oh, yeah, now I have the enforcer gun. Cool. Okay. I come in here. Pretty sure I throw this. Yeah, here they come. This guy. I think we I think we have two of them we have to fight. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take them out with as many small arms and explosives as I can, just not using the shrinker. It's really important that I don't use the shrinker. Fuck. Near each other? Oh shit! That was a little rough. Oh damn! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Damn, please give me a checkpoint that's not a million years in the past, because I'm really only doing it this way to fuck around. Ugh. God damn it, that was stupid. Okay, we're good. Although I lost all my interesting guns, because all my enemies despawned. Fuck. Thanks a lot, game. Uh. Die, god damn it. Jeez. Now I need to bring him back over to this airspace. Come on. Not good, not good, not good. Who's more damaged? Fuck. Now, 
there's a there's a glitch you can do with the scissor lift and two the both of these corpses. And I'm trying to fucking make the corpses so that I can do the funny thing. All right, there goes one. All right, come here, fuckface. Ow. Come closer, fool. This is really weird when it happened. Okay. All right, they're both dead. Let's see if we can do this. All right. It's not necessary to do this, but uh, I, I got this to do some weird crap the other day. And yes, I was playing this off stream the other day. Um, like Quake and Doom, this is just one of those games I come back to all the time. Also, is there anything over here I can grab? Yes, I think there is. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's take that scissor lift. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's open. Let's close. Is it, is it, can I drive around with it? Yes, I can. Okay. That's good. So far, so good. Hold on a sec. Oh, don't get stuck on the environment, dude. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's starting to get weird. The physics are starting to get weird. Oh, no. Don't make me let you go. I do have to let him go. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. This thing sucks. Alright, hold on a second. Whoa, there we go! There we fucking go! Woo! Yeah! Oh! Oh yeah! It's a party now! Huh? Oh, it's it's utter madness. Yeah. Oh, we are we are out of bounds here. Um Let's see. This is not where I wound up last time, though. That's interesting. It's it's like... It's like it's a weird physics-powered engine. And the fuel... The fuel is the weird behavior of these monsters. It's really hard to drive like this, though. sure you can imagine. And of course, of course, look at this. This is how you can tell so much of this isn't scripted. So the whole idea here is that you have to fill that basket down there. You have to fill that with um, barrels. And when you do that, it lets you run up to this other area. But, you know, it's, it's absolutely dynamic. You could totally just fucking... If you do this, it, it unbalances the whole thing. Like, literally does. Oh god, oh god, what's happening? Okay, we're flying again. Alright. Okay. Oh. Alright, okay. Okay, it's got me inside this tunnel. That is actually where I'm supposed to go, is inside this tunnel. 
So technically, we are now performing a level skip, even though it would have been faster not to do this. So, yes. <laughs> We're over here now. <laughs> oh my gosh. By the power of weird physics and, uh, and and uh, assault commander corpses. We have created a vehicle that drives through boundaries. I love this game. I don't give a shit. Ah. Oh, that's amusing. I thought you said it's amazing. I misread you, but you're not wrong. Oh God, oh God, they're everywhere. You gotta help me, please save me. Well, he died, but I was the last thing he ever saw, so it could have been worse. Take that, laws of physics. Damn right. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Oh, shit. Stupid fucking penis monster. Oh, cool. They ended up blowing it up. Hold on. Shit! Shove them up your ass. Yeah, Duke. Some of Duke's shit talk is actually pretty fucking good. I mean, it would have to be. I got rid of it. I got rid of the shrinker because the shrinker wouldn't have let me do that shit. Fuck. Fuck. Alright. Now he's dead. Decorate in bring matter gray. What's up here? Oh god damn it. Yeah, what did this guy drop? I can't even tell. Well, that's a pipe bomb. Is he up here now? No, he's still downstairs. Okay. I see. Hell, that one's a he. Oh, god damn it. Whoa, 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 oh. No. The only thing you can do when they jump on you is to beat them off. Even a colt. Even the colt is better than literally nothing. Oh, hey, 
Hey, there's a... Where the fuck was it? I couldn't see where it was, but I got it. Alright. Moving right along. Okay. Cool. I'll bet if I throw that there. No. Nope. I thought wrong, maybe? Let's keep trying. Okay, this is hard. Hold on. Ah, damn, I really wanted to... I don't know why I want that to go in there so badly. There we go. I think I just want to show this game who's boss, and that it can't tell me what to do. I just drove through its universe, man. to uh, Captain Dylan. <laughs> Dylan! Wait a fucking minute. That's a shortcut. Can I... Mm. I don't know, Tim. Is that even a good idea? What are you thinking right now, man? I'm messing around too much. Alien bastards got me. Stop shitting around down there and get up here. Oh. All right. Oh. Moving. I wonder. Hold on. I just had a thought. Nope. That's a bad thought. Yeah, I was, uh, I was really trying to see if I could skip this one part of the game, but I don't think I can. It'd be neat if I could. Hmm. I have a feeling the game has had enough of my shit at the moment, though. Yeah, oh, get back out of the electrified water, Tim. If I had, like, two barrels, maybe I could do this. I know that I... Yeah, no, that barrel's gone. There's no way to skip that part. Wouldn't matter anyway. As much as I enjoy fucking around with this game, I don't think I have much interest in trying to speedrun it. Unless, of course, nobody else has any interest in speedrunning it, at which point maybe I should attempt it. You gotta go? Alright, Canadian Duck, thank you for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed your time here tonight. I've enjoyed having you here today, man. I always do. Always do. And I, I have a weird love for this game, uh, so that's... I, I like being able to share the love of Duke forever with whoever I can. Especially because, like, most people's uh, introductions to this game are kind of, like, tinged with negativity, and I just, I just got nothing but positive feelings for this game. To the point of admitted weirdness. But hey. Okay. for... Oh. Yeah, okay. Hello, 
Captain Dillon. Fucking cycloid emperor is here. Fucker. Power shutdown didn't work. Got ambushed. Fucking flanked me, Duke. Not enough cover from these pussies. We're gonna have to blow the whole fucking dam. Cover, get it? Gears of War jokes? Plant the fuckers right on the dam's balls and blow it to shit. <laughs> blow it out the Emperor's ass. <laughs> Marcus, I, I mean Dylan. Guess he won't be in the sequel. <laughs> yep. Duke has been criticized for that line. But the way I see it, the character himself is a joke. He only exists... He only exists so Gears of War jokes can be made. Jokes about finding Dom's wife and running out of cover and getting flanked. And that's it. That's the only purpose of that character. So, that bit never bothered me. But again, see, I realize that what I did when I played this game is I didn't take it fucking seriously. Oh yeah, that's right. You're not supposed to take Duke Nukem seriously. Let's throw the porn in the water. Oh shit. Die, please! Fuck! Oh god. You fucking bastards. Okay. Ah! one of these things, and I blew it. Oh, well. Fuck. Oh, it's dead. Okay, cool. Hmm. me hand. <laughs> Time to go, and now that it's no longer electrified, we can go through the underwater segment, which is reviled. I've heard people describe this as being worse than the hive. And it's not. This part's not even hard. Whatever, though. Whatever. It's It's been ten years. I've gotten used to people being wrong about this game. I'm just still annoyed by that.
feel like hunting down. There's like mackerel, or no, not mackerel, catfish, I think, in this level that you can hunt and kill. <sighs> They're all like floating around in weird parts of the level and. I don't feel like it. Alright. Time to move. Buried treasure chest. And it's full of beer and explosives. Sweet. <laughs> My kind of pirates. I'm assuming that they were pirates. I think you can drink beer underwater in this game. Oh, there he fucking is. Shit, cement shoes. You were murdered. <gasps> Poor bastard. <sighs> the whole underwater section here is just like an index of possible disasters you can have at sea. but I think I'll be fine. Yeah. What, what the hell is this? Is there anything useful in here? Oh no, this is where I fucking came from. My bad. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Just like that, we're, like, right towards the end of this underwater section that people had such a big problem with. I'm sorry, but this shit, this shit is not fucking hard. I 
I've spent, like... It's weird, because I've, I've spent, I think, an equal amount of time complaining about, like, turret sections in this game as I have just complaining about how this game is misunderstood. by the one-eyed worm. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. Okay, come here. You're dead. No, not yet. Nowhere near dead yet. Oh, shit. Okay. What are we gonna do the fucking... Fucker. How dare you? You hurt me. Oh, fuck. Shit. That is truly aggravating. Okay. Shot's not landing? What the fuck? Close. Come on. Like this energy leech is one of the last little obstacles between like me and the end of the game. And once it's dead, there's not much runtime in Duke Nukem Forever left. to the exactly clear how large that creature is. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Maximum ego. I have... Okay, okay, I have as much ego as you can get in this game, then. Well, if you've listened to me talk about it. No, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not exactly clear how big this worm is, but this might be the biggest creature Duke Nukem has ever killed. And we can assume that it just extends for quite... Well, maybe, maybe at least that far. We live. Awesome. Uh. 
Alright, do I fucking have the chain gun? Yes, I do. Good. Grab this, because it's useful. Alright, so the dam is going to collapse because I've just detonated both bombs. If you stick around, that water level will fucking Shit's rise. Going so, fast. so, like, you really do have to get the fuck out of here as fast as you can. <laughs> oh man, okay. I'm taking that barrel with me. Let's go, oh my god. Alright. Where do I go? Shit. Oh no, I'm disoriented. That's, that's bad. I don't want to be disoriented right now. I want to live. Let's follow the arrows. Ow. Shit. Okay. No, I know I know how to get through this next part. It's gonna take beer and balls of steel. Let's go. Here's a hammer when you need one. Oh. oh yeah, the reason he's saying that is because there's barrels flying down here at you. Son of a bitch, I still died. Fuck. I died and I'm burping. So gas does leave the body after you pass. Kill him. Uh, what the fuck is in here? Anything useful? Oh, that. Oh. Little dick. Come on, man. Alright, shit. Great, now it's just... Now it's just... Where's a hammer when you need one? Ah. Uh, fuck. Alright. Be careful, fucking crouch when you need to. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Other side, other side. God damn. Dick hole. Oh, I was expecting a monkey. <laughs> All right. Nothing like a good Donkey Kong joke. Where am I going? I'm confused. It's a rat! Come here, rat! No, you're coming with me, buddy! We're gonna get out of here together, my little friend! Oh, shit. Don't you dare kill my rat! Where's my rat? Shit. If anything happens to him, there will be hell to pay. Next time. Where's my rat? There he is! There's my rat. I'll get him. Come on, buddy. We can do it. We can do it. This is a good rat. You're a good rat. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Now we got this, buddy. We got this! Yes! Wait, I didn't think this part through. Uh... I have no idea how to get my rat up here. Shit. Uh... I don't want to abandon him. He's a cute little guy. But I don't know how to save him. See, if I drop him, it puts him back here. Maybe. Maybe I have a chance if I go that way. Now, 
where, where is he? He's right there. Okay. Okay, okay, so I found him. Come here, buddy. Okay, okay! We got him! We got him. We've, we're, we're getting out of here with our rat. I'll save you, puke. We're gonna be okay, puke, I promise. Hey, what? No! Where's puke? You made me lose my damn rat! For saving my ass. You blew the damnedest shit, buddy. Yeah, I did. The portal is closing, and it looks like the battle's over. We think the Cycloid Emperor has fled, but no one has seen him. This is gonna be awesome. The president's too happy about everything, though. Yeah, well, fuck him. He's Let's a dick. Out. Also, one thing that makes me very happy about this. Look back here. And this guy's getting full armor, so he's not the one I fought on the bridge. But that damn explosion also took out a battle lord. Just like one random bit of collateral. So Duke has killed, in this game, at least three battle lords. Two of them in direct combat, and one of them was a casualty of a larger attack. And that's just hilarious to me. Wow, what an arena. God damn you, Duke. The CIA should have dealt with you years ago. I was gonna have the whole world, the whole world. You, you mean the CIA should have dealt with me years Small ago. Brain, fool. Now I have to set things right. Me, enact Operation Omega 96, authorization code Zeta Alpha Tau 81. Do you hear that? That. The sound of your imminent death. That is the sound of me decimating my troubles, you nuke them. You like nukes? You got them. The satellite is landing as we speak. Too bad for you that you'll still be here when it arrives. I'll be sipping margaritas while you're clawing at your own skin. Fuck you. Hoping for a quick. What a dick. He's like openly telling me that he's gonna murder me. Whoa. Shit. Nicer to me, Mr. President. I'm gonna rip your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien dirtbag. I feel oh shit. I feel like that's the appropriate response to when he killed that last EDF guy. You can pick up rats. I know, I tried. And the game wouldn't let me escape the dam with my rat. Your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien. Let's kill him. You fucking dick. Oh shit, there we go. You're dead. I'm taking your RPG. Bam! You suck, 
piggy. Alright, not much longer here. Ah, fuck. Come on down, fucker. Get it. Stupid, but I fucking love that uh, the pipe bomb plays the new Kingdom theme. on your brain, you alien dirtbag. Yeah, do it. Hoover Dam lies in ruins. It's okay, they can just make another one. Yes, that's funny. 
Come on. Get him. God damn it. What an idiot pig. This is the one. I feel it. I feel it in my balls. I'm gonna rip your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien dirtbag. Ow. You gotta do this fight sober, I just realized. You don't get, like, any power-ups. Basically, you have to take the president's word for it that he's even an intelligent creature. Come on. 
shit, shit! Oh, come on! That's bullshit! Okay, so I was wrong. It wasn't that time. Damn it, I'm this far in it. I'll be fine. I'm gonna rip your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien dirtbag. Alright. Where's the shotgun? Damn it, Tim. There it is. You need the shotgun. Alright. Be a little bit more aware, then you'll be fine. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, got him. Oh god. Give me more ammo. All right, dear Cycloid Emperor, your reinforcements are getting you killed. Sincerely, someone who doesn't actually want to give you tactical advice because I want to see you fail. But see, Duke is a brilliant strategy. about your suffering, Emperor. Not me, not anybody. Shit.
Dude, he fucking one-hitted me, too. That's what really bothers me there. Like, that took no time at all for that to go I'm gonna bad. rip your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien dirtbag. Oh, this fight. Oh, this motherfucking fight. Good job, Tim. Oh my fuck. Come on, man. Shit. I'm gonna rip your eye out and piss on your brain, you alien dirtbag. Shit. RPG I'm on the ground I can grab. So I'm gonna do that. Go. Tim, go. Oh my god. That was amusing. Uh, I 
will take your weapon. That's a good gun. Alright. Glad we had this talk. Fuck off. Oh! Oh! You get the fuck up, Tim. You get the fuck up and you run. Alright. That is all fucking bad. No. This pig gets on me. That's it. Nope. Thank you. Jesus, I hate that. That was goddamn close. Shit. Please stop. to knock some fucking useful shit my way. God damn it. Oh, oh God. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. bitch. Oh, if I had gotten the execute on that son of Oh, I'm so pissed. So fucking close. This fucking close. I'm gonna rip your Damn. eye out and piss on your That close to the second strength cap. Nope. Come on. Getting there. 
Dude, if you're stick if, if any of you are sticking around for this, mad respect. This fight is uh, not going easily for me at the moment. Die, please. Oh, Jesus. Damn, I don't get to pick up his... Get it, get it, yes! Oh, that was nice. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I wonder how many pork chops I can make out of here. Damn it! I need ammo! Asshole. Oh, God. That's kind of silly and kind of overkill, but I did it, so fun. Absolutely hit him with this. I don't care. Go up again, dick. Yeah, I got you. You're dead. You are every bit as dead as I want you to be. But, oh. Damn. Alright. Cool. Reload. Gotta be a little bit sparing with the shotgun shots because I can't get those back. Where's the flying dude? I'll get him. I'm trying to reserve.
Okay, good. but you do have another shot here. And you also have one of these assholes. Always have these guys. I just can't get free of this guy. Run, 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 run. Oh, Jesus. God, that was painful. Ooh. -hoo. Don't like, don't like, don't like. Fucking devil, there's the enforcer. Okay, you know what? The enforcer can fucking wait. Can he? Can the enforcer wait? Yeah, he'll wait. Good. Alright. I got this. I got this. can absolutely wait. Well, actually, I don't have to let him wait now. Hail 
I can, baby. I can take care of him. Except that I can't find his fucking weapon. What the fuck? Shit. Oh my god, don't fucking die. No, 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 no. Okay. Get the Devastator. Do it. Come on. Idiot. God damn. There's the enforcer weapon. How lovely. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. No! Oh, I hate that. The last fucking stage of the fight, and that's where I fucking die? Go fuck yourself. Damn it. So I gotta do this whole stupid fucking thing again. Jeez! Man. Oh, that's a tough break. That's a fucking tough break, man. rocket every time as like a safest procedure. Worth it. 
no lie. Alright. Let's reload here. So we got another flying person over here? No, we don't. We have this asshole. Yes, he is dead. I'll take that gun. That's a good gun. Fuck you. Tim. is taking. It is starting to really get to me. Ugh. All right, all right, that worked.
good. Awesome. Front. Uh, where's the flyer? I know there's gonna be one, like any second. Oh no, never mind. No flyer this time. This asshole. God, no. Take him out fast. It's all in the God damn. brutal, man. Oh yeah, there's more where that came from. Ugh. can control this uh this checkpoint this time maybe how many pigs are they gonna introduce now that's always the the thing okay sure fine Big guys. Whoa. Ow. Ah, uh, that was bad. That's fucking bad. No, actually kill him. Thank you. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not doing that.
what's over here? What are you dropping for me, huh? Another pig? You know, I'm, I'm just gonna be grateful for the pig for now. Because it could be worse. It could be an enforcer. I think they're only doing one big, big bat at a time. So maybe it's time to retire the pistol. Not maybe, it's time to retire the pistol. brought another enforcer on me. I don't think I want that. Not at all. Uh, no, I did. Ah! But I can't keep making rookie mistakes like that. gonna be awesome. Here we go. Go for the win. Eat it. Yeah, fuck you, dick. And a rain of gunfire. Cool. Now let's piss in his eye. Awesome. That's a good feeling. The president's dead, but his order is still in effect. The nuke's on its way. Oh shit, that's bad. What a jerk. Well, let's get out of here. Hold on, dude. We're getting out of here. Awesome. Oh, that's bad. Why would they do that? Worst president ever. We're gonna die, man. Shit ending is that. I ain't dead. I'm coming back for more. And he's right. He's right. Doctor Who cloned me would would be when he comes back.
And if we care anything about Duke Nukem canon, Doctor Who Clone Me is the most recent canonical event in uh, Duke Nukem's life that we are that we know of. I'd say it wraps things up rather well. I'm just gonna rock out for a bit while the credits roll. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Whoever is still here. Music of this game is really good. Ben Dongs. Oh, don't make fun of people's names, Ken. That's me. Cameron Loki Matt. Wait, the senior testers mean, like, people who were there, uh, way early in this game's development? I have no idea what to think about that. eventually actually happen. I'm glad it eventually actually happened. back in just a second. Hold on, folks. Just getting something started.
waiting for the next version of the uh, grab bag theme to kick in. Yeah, here it comes. I like this. I like this chilled out version coming up. Very much looking forward to playing the Doctor Who Corner. I am wondering if I should play that on Damn I'm Good or not. Because uh, it did. Oh, Shutterstock. Of course it's from Shutterstock. Um, I'm wondering if I should play that on Damn I'm Good. Because I. I definitely know I could beat it on that. I have. But I, I feel that that did slow this playthrough down a bit. We'll see. We'll see. Duke, now that the aliens are dead and you've saved the world once again, 
Uh, what are you going to do? I'm gonna run for president. We've had worse. Hail to the king, baby. Is the vice president sworn in as the uh, 68th president, meaning that if Duke wins, he will be the 69th president, which would be nice. All right, folks. It's weird that my mouse cursor is gone. Oh, it, it can't even be seen. What the fuck? Why is that? That's really odd. Well, folks, um, <laughs> times boss meters, yeah, sure. What other things can I do in most of this game? Extras. No. No, oh, extra game settings, right? Damn, I missed it. Here it is. Invincibility, infinite ammo, insta jib, and mirror mode is the only. Mirror mode and gray scare are the only ones considered not cheats. I can't imagine what's so interesting about gray scale. Um, it's just blind and blind. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. I've got balls of steel. Good. It's down to you and me, you one-eyed freak. Not my babes. Not in my town. You alien motherfuckers are gonna pay for this. Hmm. Who's your daddy now? <laughs> Duke wins. Fatality. Nice. Pain cake? Take a bite of Duke's special pain cake. I don't remember him ever actually saying that. My kung fu is still the best. When you get to hell, tell him Duke sent you. Oh, hell yeah. Suck it down. All right. Well, folks. I like it. That describes my feelings towards Duke Nukem Forever. It's time to play. I hope everybody who is still here had a good time. Um, it's, it's a game I have a weird relationship with because I love it. Uh, and, and not many people do. Not many people even like it, but I adore this game. Anyways, I will see you around. Be safe. Um, be happy. And good night, everyone. Now, there's not many people still here, but to everybody who was, and, and anybody who is, thank you for stopping by. Good night. And uh, Doctor Who cloned me the next time I stream a Duke Nukem game. Next game I stream, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Probably going to be Power Slave. Or um, uh, going to continue uh, Final Doom. But we'll see. Anyways, once again, good night everybody. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, adios.